What's up, everybody? Come back, Augie. Come back. <laughs> come on Uh-oh. back. You're good. Uh oh. What? Problem. That's fine. Echo. No, it's just speakers that we have hooked up in the studio. We have no support today, so yeah. If this goes rough, it's just then us. it goes rough. It's a three-man show. Yeah. Hey, Woo! what's up, everybody? Live welcome, stream. welcome, Live welcome. Stream. Wakanda forever. Hey, y'all. How's it going? How's and it going? Your starting lineup for the <laughs> Chicago Bulls. Michael Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> hey, we're, guys. We're hearing an echo. Guys, welcome to, to uh, I almost, never mind. <laughs> welcome <laughs> to Hyper Heroes here on Hyper RPG, the first live episode. This is a very interesting uh, day. It's just us three. We are manning the whole ship by ourselves. Uh, the whole crew is either at uh, Emerald City Comic Con or they're gone for the weekend because, you know, it's the weekend and uh, people need their time off. It's raining like crazy here in Los Angeles, but uh, we're having a good old time. Um, we decided to do this because Hyper RPG just celebrated their two year anniversary. Yeah, so cool, so cool. Uh, if you guys tuned in uh, on Twitch this past weekend, we had the Hyper Drive, which was a big old celebration. We had a rock band and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, were you, you guys were here, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, you guys were in a band called Pyroclastic Flow, nice, uh, which is something Chris Pratt would have died in in the trailer of Jurassic Park. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so. That was fun. Nice. That was a lot That's of better. fun. Yeah, I couldn't be here. It was my uh, it was it was my brother's my brother's 18th birthday, so I was in San Diego. Oh, I was a little bummed that I couldn't be here. Um, but registering him to vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was funny. Who was it? Was it was it Bert or I think it was Bert who was like, "Did you do the thing where you buy him cigarettes, a lottery ticket, and uh, yeah. Yeah, a porno you know, mag? Thing. Porno yeah, mag?" Yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, eh, "My brother's not into this sort of thing." No. <laughs> <laughs> when I was growing up, though, a, a ritual in our small group of friends was to go to the adult film store yeah. and, get, and pick one up. That was that when was you what 18, you did on your yeah. 18th birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awkward. Well, you know, you do what you got to do. But. Hey, somebody <laughs> in the chat asked, Adam, yeah. how are you doing after watching uh, Coco? Um, my eyes hurt. Mm-hmm. My yeah, eyes hurt. I did yeah, a lot of crying. Way. Yeah, I finally got a chance to watch Coco. Hector reminded me t- this morning. He was like, hey, if you have a chance, watch Coco. Uh, and I did, and it was a bad idea to yeah. do it before the show. <laughs> <laughs> but it was yeah. really good. A really beautiful movie, beautiful animation, beautiful why, cinematography and everything. That's why yeah. we're a couple minutes late because we opened the door and Adam's like, yeah. okay, guys, I'm going to set yeah. up. Uh, well, like, Augustine <laughs> texted me and he was like, hey, I'm in the back. I'm at the back door. Can you lock it? And I was like, okay, hold on. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I walked in. I'm like, oh, I'm just wrecked. Yeah. And then I just let him go into his room and silently watch the yeah, movie. Yeah, I, I had like 40 minutes left. You got here a little early, but yeah, yeah I had like get 40 minutes Get on it, Sugar left. Cube. Get yeah, on it. It was perfect. It was such a good movie. It was such a good movie. But yeah. So we decided that we were going to do this fun. I mean, Hyper Heroes is not a year old show yet, no. but we've been doing content here at Hyper RPG for a year now. Mm-hmm. The first thing that we ever did was Logan. That was the very first thing we did was a Logan review. Oh, that's review. right. And we did that comic book uh, sort yes. of uh, high, highlight or whatever it exactly, was. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We did that, which is a really good time. And, you know, we've been doing it for a year now. We're doing trailer reactions, movie reviews. You know, we started Hyper Heroes right at the tail end of Comic-Con and people really liked it. So we thought, hey, maybe we should just, maybe we should pursue this and see and see if people would enjoy it. And like, I mean, the numbers prove it and your guys' interaction prove it. You guys love it and you guys share the content. And we just crossed a million views on our Avengers Infinity War trailer reaction. Thank you so much. (laughs) That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, I, I can't imagine, like... I never, not, and I never thought YouTube was going to be a thing for me. Sure. Like, I never thought I was going to be here with you guys. Like, I, I know we, we always had fun at work and, like, all that stuff, mm-hmm. talking about all this stuff. Mm-hmm. But to actually have people, like, there's people in the chat here. It, it just blows my mind that people are here to watch us. And uh, it's just, I'm, I'm very yeah. grateful. And this is something I never imagined for myself. Yeah. So. Super oh, exciting. doing laundry over there? What's he <laughs> doing? Kaiju's Kaiju just yeah. walking around the house. Kaiju's doing my laundry. Yeah. It's just me and the dog. And uh, we got to hang out. We got to oh, hang yeah, out tonight. You are an honorary Mexican. Yeah. Oh, thank oh, you. Yeah. I got my card yeah, back. Perfect. Card back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Save Lick that. it and pass Save it. That. That's right. That's right. That's right. Man, yeah, no, it's it, it was a really good, really good movie. I text uh, I text these guys and I was like, oh my god, abuelita with the ninja with the ninja with the shoe, ninja, yeah. ninja chunkla, the, yeah. the chunkla yeah. thrown at people. I was yeah. like, this is me. Now go get my sandal. Yeah. Yeah. Go get my sandal. Go get my <laughs> it was so good. Because yeah, that's what you're thinking the whole scene where she's like, yeah. she just threw her chunkla. How's she gonna get it back? And, go and, get it. In, in, in abuelita style, she goes. Go that's get right. It. That's right. Hey, go nice place. blanket by the way. This is my legit South African. Lesotho blanket. Cool. It's so, do you guys want to wear it? It's so warm. It looks it's, super comfortable. It's, I wear it yeah. around the house actually because it's so warm. <laughs> and it like so. Okay, so there's a certain way. I'm probably not gonna be be able to to be audible, but so 
No, I got turn, you. It, turn it this way. So there's a certain way you have to wear this blanket. Mm -hmm. You can't see me on the. Oh, there you go. So in order to wear this blanket, the guys have to wear it with the pin not showing. So you have to fold it in a certain way. Mm -hmm. Pins not showing, right? Guys wear it over their right shoulder like this. Mm -hmm. Women generally wear it in the middle like this. Mm. Oh, interesting. Yeah, but you can use your hands like it's nice and it's nice and warm. I don't know why the guys wear it on their right, but you have to wear it like this. And when I went to South Africa, this is how all the dudes are wearing it. Which That's is really awesome. Cool. Um, but yeah, it's made out of wool. Uh, you have to wear it with the lines vertically like mm. this. Uh, and the guy told us that if you don't, you would start an international incident. So I don't want <laughs> you don't want to do that. I don't want to wear it otherwise. Um, and the technology, the the vibranium is just woven <laughs> into here. I can't sit show down. you guys. Sit down. I can't show you guys. Wait, wait, but, grab uh, your chair. Grab your chair. Oh, okay. <laughs> you so almost pulled a Matt Acevedo. Yeah, right? Did he fall? <laughs> oh yeah, Matt. Matt fell. <laughs> I, so I, as soon as Hector was like, sit down. I was like, he doesn't yeah, know the chair is not behind him. Doesn't know. <laughs> uh, watch this. Yeah, that's but, yeah, amazing. Though. That's so cool. Really cool. Um, yeah, it's from the Lesotho. Uh, it's a Lesotho blanket. Lesotho blanket or Lesotho blanket? I'm Somebody not sure. Somebody says right there in the chat, Ian Bosch says, it's Les Hutu. Les Hutu? Yeah. Okay. A apparently. Les I, yeah, I don't, cool. I don't. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it was it was a great experience going to Africa. And uh, I, I'm very happy that I bought this blanket when I did. It's awesome. nice. It's super nice. I'm, I'm a little jelly. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to wear it, you can wear it. Uh, also, I want to let you guys know that we are officially affiliated with Adam Tickets. Finally, we're super, oh. super excited. What? Cool. Yup, it finally happened. We just uh, it yeah, just happened this shit. week. Uh, super, super excited about this. So I want to let you guys know in the in the description of this video, if you go to the description, you will find an affiliate link where you can actually buy Adam Tickets uh, through our affiliate link, and it helps out the channel. It helps nice. out the show. Um, and Adam Tickets is an app that we use regularly. Almost yeah. every time we do a group outing for a movie, uh, that's how we set it up. You go to Adam Tickets, you select the movie, the yeah. time, the and theater. We should clarify, it's not Adam, Adam Lab. No, it's A T O M. Atom. Yeah. Atom Tickets. Hey, the less special. Cynthia says hi in the chat, guys. Hi, Cynthia. Uh, hi. But yeah, it's something that we've been using for months. And so now we're affiliated with them. And if you guys use the link, uh, or if you're a first time user and you use the code SQUAD, uh, all of that support goes towards Hyper RPG, goes toward, uh, nice. you know, supporting Hyper Heroes, nice. which is great, which is great. Uh, it's there. one way you guys can support the show. Yeah. So, right. Tori Flacco says, I love Atom. I use it for all my tickets. It, See? Frick yes, frick yes. Was, it's amazing. I was hesitant about using it when you guys first started using it. I was like, yeah. what is this? But yeah. it actually, like, legitimately is a good way to. Your friends are sitting to, here. Yeah, to group oh, up. Great. With your friends. Yeah, it's it, really cool. It's great because before what, it, what used to happen, like one person would buy all the tickets and then some people couldn't go, so you have to refund them. This way, you just invite people to the event. They can buy their own tickets, and if yep. they can't go, then they just refund them themselves. Yep. It's super, super convenient. It saves um, you from purchasing 8,000 tickets. Yeah, and then, and having, then having to go to the box office and, and deal with it. people not show up. Uh, I still remember when bitch. I bought a ticket for my buddy and we were going to go watch Ocean's 13 uh -huh. and he didn't show up and I was sitting there I'm like damn it and I watched well, the whole movie and it's like yeah. alright well I bought two See, tickets now yeah. it's all on him it's now it's movie all on him yeah. so it's a good system yeah if you if you have uh, iOS or Android just download the app enter the code squad you get $5 off your first purchase and then use our affiliate link at any time after that and it just helps support our show cool. uh, also yeah. the super chat is enabled in YouTube and for those of you who don't know who are not from Twitch the super chat basically allows you the opportunity to tip or donate towards the show which again that's more support towards Hyper RPG and Hyper Heroes for us um and the way we're going to do this is we have we have a whole list of things that have kind of happened this week there's been some breaking news today um but what we wanted to do we really wanted to make it about you guys so you guys have the opportunity to use the super chat uh or the regular chat to ask questions if you do use the super chat and you do tip those are going to be sort of the priority questions that we're going to go through first because people are obviously tipping for that. Mm -hmm, yeah. And then once we get through those, then we'll go through the regular chat room questions. And obviously, if we're talking about a topic and somebody shouts out, you know, a point or something related yeah. to the topic, then we'll definitely address it on yeah, the yeah, stream. Yeah. yeah. Did we give a shout out to the mods yet? Do we have mods in oh, here? Yeah, mods. we've got a few. Yeah. Shout, shout out guys. to who, who, who's modding? Uh, I think Angel Mitsu is in there, and I, I believe I forgot to mod somebody, and I apologize. Uh, it's been a crazy morning. Yeah. Right before we started l going live, the uh, computer shut down. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to yeah. reboot the whole computer yeah. and set up the project again, which is fine. It's it's fine now, but I, I, I freaked out a little bit. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. It's okay. You oh, got to go in. You're an yeah, expert. It's all we, good. I mean, we've had enough, like, low-end live streams to yeah. know that this is yeah. a pretty good quick system yeah so. and yeah and if, yeah. if any of you guys had been uh watching any of the live streams with, that we had previously done done um 
that was a very low budge setup yeah and we basically did everything just out of a bedroom and now it's cool because we have this whole setup and we have everything sort of rocking <laughs> the, and rolling the echo is really bugging <laughs> <laughs> we That's have a little bit of an, we have a little bit of an echo because we have a speaker yeah. system in here <laughs> i don't know <laughs> just turn it towards it just turn it against the wall uh yeah. uber baldy just tipped two dollars thank you so much uber baldy uber baldy has been a part of the there thumper community uber, he's been thank you. he's been around f ever since it's the beginning not for us though it's looking for claire yeah why is claire not in chat good question <laughs> somebody where the claire. f is claire tell her to be here claire 58 where you at girl where you at why aren't <laughs> you here to hit her up on uh, yeah, like, <laughs> i'm about to hit you up at, tweet okay. at her uh also uh make sure you guys go to my twitter um and retweet my tweet to make sure we can get as many people in here as possible oh, i forgot to retweet Let's tweet. get some people in here, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. This is the first live stream we've ever done on YouTube uh, as Hyper RPG. Yeah. And we hope to be able to do it more often. Uh, you know, if you guys end up really liking this and this ends up being something that you really enjoy, then, you know, we'll consider doing more often. Um, I had a meeting with uh, Lucas and we're going to be rebooting our Patreon completely from the ground up. Nice. And I think there's going to be stuff in there that I think is going to be... Uh, things that you guys are going to love and I'm excited to do it because it's going to allow us to do things, uh, be a little more creative with the things that we want to do. Mm -hmm. And hopefully in the future, in the future, future, it'll allow us the opportunity to be able to do more things with hyper heroes. So mm -hmm. I'm very excited mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. But with all that out of the way, God, I just tweeted at her. Oh no! <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Why aren't you here? We're all for you, Claire. Really oh not, man. Um, anything else been going on recently um, in y'all's lives? Chilling and shit. You yeah, know, chilling just chilling. like yeah, just chilling. It's yeah. been raining. It's been raining. I, yeah. I'm actually really enjoying this yeah, weather. It's really nice, actually. Yeah, I'm super excited yeah. about it. Uh, taking care. Of, yes, we are going to be doing an Oscar live stream tomorrow night here on YouTube. We're gonna be starting that at five o'clock. We'll probably go live a little earlier, probably like four forty. Or so it'll be myself and Cameron. We've got some people who are going to be coming in, some friends. Uh, you guys are welcome to come if you guys want to. Uh, but we'll be here from like 4 45, 5 o'clock till about, I believe, the award ceremony is probably going to go till about 8 or 9. Uh, I think that'll be a lot of fun. Last year we were all here and the crazy blunder happened. Oh, I'm glad where I was they here announced for that La La Land one. and it was really supposed to be Moonlight. Was that, that was hilarious. Yeah. 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 Cameron's freak out was priceless. <laughs> it was priceless. Yeah. It was yeah. great. It was great. I was there for that. Yeah. I that really funny. doubt we're ever going to see anything like that again. Oh, I know. Man. Well, they brought back, they're bringing back Faye Dunaway and Warren Beatty again to do well, the best picture. Yeah, so. so they'll make a dumb joke. Yeah. Don't yeah, they'll, oh, they, of, course, they probably will. of course. They'll be like, the winner is Moonlight. I had to. <laughs> <laughs> I had to you do know, it. That's probably going to be the, the first of joke of the night. Right? Yeah, like, I know. Knowing yeah. what's the name? Jimmy. It's annoying. Not Jimmy. It's uh, Jimmy Kimmel. Annoying. Oh, it's Jimmy Kimmel. I think it's Jimmy right, Kimmel right, right. doing it yeah, again. Jimmy yeah, yeah. Kimmel. One of the Jimmys. Cameron's in the chat. What's up, Cameron? What he, up, retweeted, Cam? he retweeted my tweet and he said, I retweeted it. You happy? I'm like, yeah, I am. Thank you. Yeah, yeah actually, that's very helpful. Cynthia C.L. Alvarez asks, mm. any recommendations for what to do in Philly that is oh, yeah. nerdy? I'm sure a bunch of people were, oh, thank you so much. Mm. Oh, I wow. has, I has Vikings 2008. Watch you guys for years. <laughs> much love from Georgia. Thank I don't know if that's IHS Vikings or LHS Vikings 2008. Clavic Viking? No. Oh, what? <laughs> I has Vikings. That's what I, I have. Yeah. Uh, I've watched you guys for years. Much love from Georgia. Thank, Thank you so, much. so, so much. If you have a question, if you have a question type, right type in your question as well. well. To your question first. I want to make sure we uh, we get some uh, some questions from you guys as well. This is yeah. this is an hour of a hangout with you guys, so, so I'm, Cynthia, I'm super excited Cynthia about it. Cynthia asks uh, about Philly because I'm going to be in Philly Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Oh, nice. So you can That's catch right. me on the Rocky Stairs. I'll be just there hanging out there all day. Bum, bum, <laughs> just all day. Bum, just bum, like bum, laying bum, on the bum, stairs. Bum, 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 leaning on the Rocky Stairs. You gotta have a yeah, cheesesteak. You gotta have a cheesesteak. Yeah, of course, oh. gonna have Tori it. Tori Flacco have just says Philly rep just had a cheesesteak in Philly earlier nice. today. Yeah, nice. gotta nice. get. Okay, oh, there's a cheesecake for a second. There. Well, that's, like, that's great. Yeah, that's what they'll just do. Have that cheesecake in New well. York, but in Philadelphia you have <laughs> yeah. a cheese cheesesteak. Steak. That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, yeah. So those of you asking, the Oscar stream and this will obviously be uploaded later. Uh, I'll probably end up pulling the stream down and doing my little edits as I like to do and then re-uploading it later today. Yeah. Um, and then we're also going to be uploading an episode of Cineverse after this today as well. Nice. So super, super, super exciting stuff. A long weekend, a lot of stuff going on. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I got to go see Star Wars Rebels last night with Emma. Uh, how was the it? finale... Did I'm not going to say anything other than uh, I cried. Not as much as Coco, but I cried. <laughs> uh, cool. I still yeah. have two seasons to catch up on. I, it sucks yeah. that it's not on. That's not streaming yet because that's mm -hmm. apparently really it's going to be. I th I think. I correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's going to be coming to Netflix. No. I really hope so. I could be wrong, really but I think so. I have time to watch uh, thankfully, I have PlayStation View and Disney XD is part of it, so I can oh. like watch it live more okay. or less. Okay. So super yeah. excited. Yeah. I'm just yeah. gonna go get the Blu-rays, man. 
because I got season one on Blu-ray, watched it, and I never went back. And yeah, I need to do two, three, yeah. and then four when it comes out. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. That, I'm I'm at the same point that you are. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. it's good. Yeah, it's and go. it's like they they don't disappoint. Should we get? In? I, I was I was very uh, I was very very happy with the way it <laughs> ended. I think I will say this. I think some people. Mm-hmm. I think some people are going to get to the ending and they're going to go, hmm, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But for me personally, as a Star Wars fan, I really sort of like what they did. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I, I won't say why. You just have to watch <laughs> it. Watch it on Monday. It's three yeah, episodes yeah, yeah. on Monday night. It's going to be really, really good. So there you go. That's yeah. that's all I'll say about that. Right, but right, right. the first thing that uh, we're going to talk about is they officially announced the directors for a Flashpoint. All right. John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein officially confirmed. Uh, John Francis Daly put out a tweet. It's happening. And it's Flash from the Super Friends running up the wall. Uh, So it's officially happening. Those guys are going to be directing the Flashpoint movie. We still don't know really when it's coming out. We don't know when it's happening. We don't know, you know, the details of the story. As of right now, we're assuming that it's going to be Flashpoint. Um, John Francis Daly didn't necessarily say it's happening. Hashtag Flashpoint. Mm Mm-hmm. But a Flash movie is happening. It's happening. These guys just directed Game Night together, which a lot of people surprisingly actually really liked Game Night. So I'm happy about that because uh, I saw Vacation. I did not like Vacation. I liked the writing that they did with for Spider-Man Homecoming, but there were multiple writers on that movie. Mm-hmm. So I don't know exactly what part of it uh, you know, was theirs in terms of the writing. John Francis Daly's great. He's been in shows, Freaks and Geeks. Yeah. Uh, he was in Waiting. He's great in all that stuff. So... Uh, I'm looking forward to this movie. I'm still looking forward to it. I'm still excited to see Ezra Miller. I'm still excited to see Billy Crudup as as uh, Henry Allen. Mm-hmm. Um, I there is no confirmation whether or not uh, Kiersey Clemens will be back as Iris West. Bring her back. I think I think the assumption is that yes, it's going to happen. But whether or not it's going to be an actual Flashpoint story, we don't know yet. But I mean, how do you guys feel about about these directors? Um, I'm cool <laughs> with it because yeah. anytime I go. Um, I think rarely there's a, there's there's times where like a director is chosen or picked and yeah. I go god what a perfect combination yeah. like that's going to be amazing yeah. because sometimes when it is perfect yeah. it turns out to be a shitty movie anyway yeah. like Tim yeah. Burton was announced as Alice in Wonderland's director like 10 years ago mm-hmm. and oh, you would man. think like man what a perfect mm-hmm. you know combination and yeah. then the, and then the movie fit. comes out and it's like ah, on it's paper it should be amazing it, yeah exactly yeah. and then other times you think who the, who are the Rousseau brothers they worked on community yeah, yeah, i don't exactly. know and then they they come out with like Captain America, the yeah. Winter Soldier. Yeah. Right. You know, so, yeah, exactly. By the yeah. way, big ups to Angel Mitsu. Five dollars in the chat. Yeah, thank what's you very much. Thank you. Uh, what's the upload schedule looking like for your personal YouTube channel, Adam? <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, th- so th- that's that's a funny. That's a very funny tangent. Uh-huh, uh, uh-huh. Personal YouTube channel. There, it really is no schedule. It's really all based upon what content I want to be making. Um, there might be days where there's going to be certain content that I want to make, or something might break, and I want to cover that. So there really is no schedule. My goal is just to make at least one video a week. Sometimes it might be two, sometimes three. It really yeah. just depends on what's happening. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's gonna that's 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 how that's gonna roll. I'm gonna be doing a new video soon, um, and then I have a couple other things planned as well. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. yeah, shots fired, angels. <laughs> yeah, shots fired. Get on it, homie. I know. Pressure's I subscribed on. Subscribe to your channel. And I, I got know. One video last week. Pressure's on. Pressure's that's on. It. I know, I know. How do you feel about <laughs> but the directors? Though? It's, it's listen, man. DC right now is in such a so in the dirt right now. It's really hard to get hyped up for anything they're doing at this yeah. point because we had Patty Jenkins, we had Wonder Woman. They followed that hype with nothing, mm-hmm. just like a wet blanket. Like we, they, they, they tried to do well with with uh, with Justice League. I mean, I love. I didn't love the movie. I liked the movie. But yeah. it's just it's the they didn't carry through basically, and so anything from this point on that's mm-hmm. not revolutionary, that's like not new marketing, that's not new, you know, like whatever. Like, mm-hmm. give me somebody that I've never heard of that's gonna knock it out of the park. I don't care what they've done before. Give me a Coogler, like some some. I'm not saying actually Coogler, right, but right, somebody right. who's like lesser known, who's been doing great stuff, mm-hmm. and you bring them on. Show me that you really want to that you learn from your mistakes and are moving along. Yeah. Right now it's just like. Uh, business as usual. We're just gonna keep going with the way we know how to make movies, and mm. that's it. It's like, not. Uh, it's not about momentum. No. Well, at, the, at this point, no, it's not. You know, and it's no. fine. It's like it needs to be about the event. For when yeah. Aquaman comes out, that needs to be an event. For right. when Shazam comes out, when Flash comes out, it needs to be these events. It's not about sort of maintaining the hype throughout because it's yeah. not part of the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, well, it, it's not, and that's what sucks. Yeah. Because it's 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 very difficult to for me. When I hear these kind of announcements to be like, oh, yeah, I'm excited because there's no follow up to it. It's just like, oh, we mm. got this guy. OK, 
cool. What are we going to see? I don't know. Yeah. We don't know of, yet. In the case of Flash, we've lost a couple directors. At yeah. This point I hope it's not another Rick Famuyiwa sure. uh, yep. experience. <laughs> Which um, funny? Whoa, what is that in the chat? How is much that? is that? Oh, it uh, looks like a lot. I don't know. <laughs> a thousand and then a symbol for currency that <laughs> I am that? not familiar with. Ten more bunia. Ten more. Thank you so bunia. much. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't know what that phenomenal. is, but thank you. I appreciate. So th that's it. the thing with the super chat. I forgot to mention that if you are in other parts of the world, you can donate with your local currency, cool. and oh, then wow. we'll just get we'll just get the convert whatever just, the converted I'll just version is. That's a thousand that <laughs> dollars. Was that yen? I don't know. That's a, a thousand something. Yes. Thank you, Michael Blaze. On. A thousand something, somebody yes. wants that to, wasn't uh, doll hairs, somebody wants but it was to something. Translate that for us in the chat. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. That, yeah, it. no, it's Japanese. Oh, yeah, it is Yen. Yeah. Okay. From Japan. Thank you. Thank so you so much. much. Yeah. Appreciate it. I'm super, super bummed. I was hoping to go to Japan in April for Trade Blossom seasons with Nagiyama, who's one of our mods here at Hyper RPG. Mm -hmm. I'm super, 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 super bummed. I can't go. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Oh God, I'm so bummed. But yeah. I, I, my plan is to go to Japan in October. So nice. Cool. Good I hope plan. so. I hope so. Good yeah, plan. I really want to go. I really want to go. Just got to save your money, man. It's expensive out there. Yeah, I know. That's what I hear. Yeah. That's what I hear. Yeah. Okay. I mean, look at that. A thousand, a thousand yen. It's it's uh, fifteen, 15 bucks. bucks. Ooh, five yeah, cents. Someone good. said five cents. That's good. All right, you guys, come on. It's a thousand <laughs> rupees. It's not rupees. <laughs> Whatever it is, we'll take <laughs> we'll, it. We'll Thank you. Fifteen bucks. Well, you know what? Fifteen bucks sounds it's pretty not good. Yen, it's rupees. Oh, it is rupees. <laughs> it is rupees. Oh, I hey, don't know what. You should go to the Czech Republic and try to pay pay in, in rupees and see what happens. Or rules. Ooh. It's like fifteen. It's about sixteen bucks. Yeah, but a yeah. thousand rules sounds better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's we true. We got a it thousand really rupees it today really on our it. on our. By live the way, I chat. want to give a shout out to everybody around the world who's watching. Uh, if we you, have people who are up at two thirty in the morning yeah, watching us. Yeah, y'all wow. crazy. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. It's not yen, guys. It's, it's rupees. It's ru so Indian. It's, a thousand rupees yeah it okay, sounded like okay. the name was from india yeah yeah you guys okay. are, look we're not trying to be assholes if you guys are <laughs> fucking with us we're gonna take you at face credit like i have no we idea can't, we can't read sarcasm in the chat we get so like we're not gonna be mean and assume everybody's lying to us we're gonna assume you're telling us the truth so yeah you're messing with us and we're like okay it's this oh no it's this okay no. okay megalo blazemon thousand yen by my math equals 10 million dollars megalo blazemon is 20 correct. bucks yeah, yeah 20 perfect bucks. i agree thousand rupees 100 Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Yo, I'm, uh, so Patrick O'Malley mentions uh, Famuyiwa to direct Black Hole Awesome News. He's partnering up with the Rousseau brothers to do a Netflix superhero. I think it's a movie. Oh, that's right. They I'm just excited. announced and, that, right? And, Keanu, yeah. and I think Keanu Reeves is in talks to potentially play the lead role. And I'm like, no wonder you threw shade. Yeah. Ooh, you're yeah. working with the Rousseaus now. Yep. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because yeah, he's got big stuff it. coming up down yeah. the pipe. Yep. I mean, good for him. Good for him. I think yeah. I think it's a, it's a good collaborative and creative team to, to make a Netflix superhero movie, whatever I'm, it ends I'm up being. I'm very interested now because mm -hmm. we have the, also that news that Netflix is green lighting like a thousand different yeah, new shows. Man. Yeah. What so, is that all about? I, I know. know. It's just turning into like a numbers game. It's it is. like Cloverfield Paradox wasn't great. Uh, I started bright, didn't finish it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, people have been saying, oh, Netflix is just dumping shitty sci fi on their stuff just because they know algorithms wise, like yeah, certain yeah. people are going to check it out. But I'm, but the other argument to that is like, well, that's cool because sci fi is getting made. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, you know, we don't know when we're going to find the next Stranger Things yeah. until it could be Rick Fummy, you a superhero yeah. movie starring right. Keanu Reeves. Like, yeah. that's exactly. dope. I'm, exactly. Of course I'll check it out. So, For sure. yeah. 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 How I was so surprised by this announcement when Marvel came out on Twitter and was like, hey, who's excited to see Avengers on Hilarious. May 4th? Robert Downey Jr. was like, yeah, anyway, we could uh, see it a week early. Yeah. He said, what about if I inv invite all my friends? Yeah. And then they I think, I think we could, the I think we do the that. Avengers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they were like, these friends? He's like, how about the whole world? How about all Ooh, my friends? You yep. got it, Mr. Stark. And I'm like, <laughs> April 27th. I love this shit. Yep. April 27th, Done. Avengers Infinity War is yeah. officially being yeah. moved oh, up man. worldwide. Out. sec. Fifty sec dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's fifty sex. Fifty sex, dude. Fifty sex. Ooh, we're gonna be real busy here. Nominated movie from this year. Love from oh, is that the Swedish thank Crown? Yeah, oh, thank Swedish you so much. Krona. Thank you so much, you, so much, you guys. Swedish hey, do. Krona. Hey, do. I'm learning a lot today. I'm yeah. learning uh, a lot. I'm bouncing back and forth between Get Out and Coco are like my favorite ones that have been yeah. nominated. Yeah. So I love them so much, and I also yeah. love The Shape of Water. So yeah. Yeah, I mean. It sucks that a movie like Coco. Thank you, Robert Henson or Hobson, for the Robert 15. Hobson. If we keep tipping, then we'll never get back to the show. That's true. That's true. I recognize uh, that. That's a dollar sign. That's, so. a dollar <laughs> sign. that's fifteen bucks. Jim. There's hope for us. That's, no, yeah. it's fourteen ninety nine. Um, it's just it sucks that a movie like Coco, how however amazing mm -hmm. it is because it's in the animation category, it's gonna be treated as like a not, kids animated. Not film. since Toy Story three right. in two thousand ten. 
when that was nominated for Best Picture yeah. along with yeah. Best Animated. Yeah. That like, uh, yeah, I think it's like, if you haven't filled out the amount for pictures to get nominated, I mm-hmm. think absolutely Coco was one of the best movies of the year. Absolutely. So, I agree. I agree. Know, it's a bummer, but whatever. The Oscars are bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, no. I, the Oscars are bullshit. I'm uh, yeah, to me, Coco is definitely... I did see Coco. I watched it right before we live streamed. Adam and was it lit- was painful Adam was in the best way. drying off his eyes before we started the yeah. show. Coco, so. No, Coco was amazing. Um, yeah. I think Coco, for sure, for me, for me, it's like the most exciting nomination now having seen it. Um, there are some movies in the best picture category that I actually that I did enjoy a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, I still have a couple that I need to catch up on. Mm-hmm. So far, I would probably say that Get Out, The Shape of Water, maybe Dunkirk are probably like my top ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but I, I have a very strong feeling that it's probably going to be three billboards just based on the the way that. All of these nominees and all these actors have sort of been winning all so, these. Even though Shape of Water is a front runner, like Shape of Water has been killing it everywhere else it, too. It has. I have a very strong feeling that if Three Billboards and Martin McDonough were nominated together, then I mm-hmm. think there was a higher possibility of that movie mm-hmm. taking uh, of Shape that's of Water the, taking Best mm-hmm. Picture. But I think because the director. the director is not nominated, it might go that route. Might where, go like water. kind of like what happened with Argo. Ben Affleck was not nominated for Best Director, but yeah. Argo ended up winning yeah. Best Picture. Oh, so. I see what you're saying. It's uh, here's my theory. I think that uh, the Academy voters that are average male, average white, average age, 63 years Mm -hmm. old, Mm -hmm. and we were seeing the past few days some bullshit news about some of their anonymous reactions to Get Out and different things. I think they're not going to pick Get Out because of those reasons. Yeah, and I think that in order to avoid them looking like stupid old. You know, <laughs> racist people that don't understand, uh-huh. that didn't understand what Get Out uh-huh. was, where they're like, ah, it's all about race. Uh, it made me uncomfortable, so not going to get my vote. As a like, so it, it, so to avoid that spotlight, I don't think they're going to pick three billboards, which right. is the predominantly white cast yeah. that deals with some race relations, but doesn't. That a lot of people look at it's, and they're it's like, not the forefront, like it is with Get Out. Yeah, yeah. and they're like, oh, yeah. y- if you're not going to pick Get Out, don't pick this one over here because it's going to make you look like the guy in Get Out who goes, I would have voted for Obama for a third time. <laughs> if I, could. I think they're going to play it safe in that regard and go Shape of Water. Ugh, Shape of Water is the RT Guillermo. The Everybody RT. loves Guillermo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phew. Well, right, wait. right. Okay, nobody give it look to at- a brown guy. Still giving yeah, it to yeah, a brown yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, but not this brown guy. By the way, big ups to Shilly Nine. Thank you so much. 99 pesos. Hola chicos, saludos desde México. Pesos. Ooh, thank you very much. Pesos. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you, Chile, thank you. Te so dicen much. Chile? Chile, no Chile. Chile 9. Chile? Chile 9. Chile? Chile? <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, chair? it's just, it's it's a tough, it, what, what sucks about the Oscars is just that it's, I don't know if people are <laughs> voting because your votes aren't counted and your name isn't put on it. Like mm-hmm. people might not have those hangups like yeah. mm-hmm. where you're like, oh, well, I don't want to seem like I don't care about this kind of stuff. So mm-hmm. they vote for a certain thing. They just throw their vote in and it doesn't matter. <clears throat> yeah. And so. uh, Cameron, Cameron explained exactly how the uh, how, how it works when you're voting for best picture because it's different. Mm-hmm. It's different than it is for all the other categories. I forget exactly how it was. Well, I remember when Crash won over Brokeback Mountain. Yeah. I learned that year that like. Best Picture is the only one where, like, the people in the movies, like, the actors and stuff, can mm-hmm. vote on that. Mm-hmm. So I remember thinking, like, well, Brokeback Mountain had four actors in it, and Crash had, like, 16. I remember thinking, like, well, I hope they didn't just win because of, like, because they just had a larger cast. Right, right, right. Yeah, which right, is weird, because yeah, yeah. I really liked Brokeback Mountain, and I mm-hmm. thought Crash was okay. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And a lot of people were surprised. That was, like, a big upset when yeah. Jack Nicholson announced it. Crash. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I, How did he do it? Yeah. Crash. crash. Holy <laughs> shit, it's oh crash. Um, my, honestly, like my big Oscar win that I'm hoping for is uh, Tio Guillermo. That's all I want. Yeah, I want Guillermo director, del Toro yeah. to win yeah. Best Director. He yeah. needs to win Best Director. Yeah. This he's so great. Grinding, Guillermo del Toro is so great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he deserves How can it. you not love that man? Yeah. He's a great director. Who else, so who else is going up against him? What's, what's uh, the, what's Christopher the Nolan. Like? Mm-hmm. Uh, Dunkirk. Okay. Greta Gerwig. Jordan Peele, forget it. Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele. Dang. Dang. Such a um, who's the other director? Yeah. I believe it's the director. It's is it Joe Wright? I'm not sure if it's Joe Wright for Darkest I Hour. Don't know. I don't know. Um, but Martin McDonough's not in there. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, we'll we'll see. But I I have a very strong feeling that Guillermo's the favorite to win. So. He's been, and, and the and the reason why I say that is because he's been being recognized everywhere else yeah like he's mm-hmm. winning awards left and right and that's amazing for him and 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 there's it, i don't want to put down any of the other award show awards that he's been winning mm-hmm. but at the same time 
this man has worked harder than a lot of the people who and and probably suffered more failures than a lot of the people yeah. who are out there winning all this stuff you know yeah. it's good like jordan peele i i love him and i don't want to put down get out but he's brand new like he this, sure. this isn't going to be his best work and i look right. forward to everything that he's going to do yeah, yeah i just feel like somebody like Guillermo has put in the time mm -hmm. to deserve just like just like uh what's his name what, what can't i think of his name who? uh uh, uh one last year, best actor. Um, oh, Leo DiCaprio. Leo DiCaprio. <laughs> yeah. God, why couldn't I remember mm -hmm. his name? Like <laughs> he put in, he put in all that work and was yeah. snuffed so many times yeah. that he finally did a method actor piece and was like, okay, cool. Yeah, right, yeah. Let's give him, even though it might necessarily not might not have been his best work, sure. he put in the time for that award. For sure. Paul Thomas Anderson for. Oh, PT. Fancy that's Greg. right, PT. PT. Okay. Okay. Uh, Andrew Sanford, thank you so much for the ten dollar donation. Man, Love US you, dudes. Dollars. Thanks for always. Uh, thanks for the always awesome content. Now we'll grab a donut. Enjoy that donut. Grab two. Grab By two. By the way, for the people who are coming in, if if you didn't hear the announcement at the beginning, mm -hmm. if you tip or super chat, then uh, you can ask a question and we'll prioritize your question for mm -hmm. everything else that we talk about. So, yeah. Um, we have our news topics here. Yes. But um, yeah, if you guys want to ask something to us. Are we answering non-comic book Yeah, we, we'll answer too? any questions. Answer any questions. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Nathan Taylor, thank you so much for that $1.99 tip. That's a tough question. Woo! Hey, guys. <laughs> what do you think the really bad DC news is? <laughs> this was a very interesting topic. Yeah. Uh, John Campia did his, uh, his his movie blog. Rick Hector doesn't know yet. I don't know what you guys are talking Woo! about. All right. I'm going to lay it on you. I'm going to lay it on you like butter. Okay. Uh, John Campia did his movie blog, and he was talking about that he knows of some very... He knows of some DC news that is eventually going to come, but he's not sure if it's going to be... In a week, tomorrow, in three months, in six months, and he didn't want to say what it was because you know he said like I'm I'm not interested in breaking scoops. It's not my thing. Mm -hmm. But I've been told that there's this there's this bad DC news coming, but we don't know when. And he's been hit up by people I think at the Wrap and multiple websites. And I don't I didn't like look into it or read into it, but I guess some of those websites were assuming that he was talking about Matt Reeves leaving the Batman movie. Okay. But Matt Reeves has come out on Twitter saying like, no, Not I'm true. doing Batman. I'm yeah. writing it right now, like mm -hmm. full steam ahead. But a lot of people are now speculating, what's the bad news? Is it going to be Ben Affleck leaving? Is it going to be them restructuring again? Like, what's it going to be? I personally, honestly, I have no clue what it is. Um, there were some reports that came out recently saying that Batgirl and Nightwing are not as high priority as... Uh, we thought they were. The Nightwing movie may not be happening for at least three to five years because uh, Chris McKay is going to go off to do a Dungeons and Dragons movie. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what that bad news could be. It could be honestly anything. It could be that Ben Affleck is going to leave and he's going to get replaced mm -hmm. by another actor. It could be something completely unrelated. I don't know. It could yeah. also be it something could, really be subjective because yeah. a lot yeah. of people considered yeah. Joss Whedon not doing Batgirl bad news. A lot of people considered it good news. Exactly. So, you know. The only um, thing that I could see is bad, bad news is Patty Jenkins and Gal Gadot saying we're not going to do this. Yeah, oh like, my God. That would be terrible. That is real because that's their bastion of like yeah. good yeah. stuff right Why now. Why did John yeah. Campia uh, announce this? I have no clue. Because I, I didn't that's watch. That's frustrating the whole thing. to me, man. That's yeah, frustrating, John. It's 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 frustrating because I'm not yeah, interested. Man. Like, in, why bring it up if you're not going to yeah. actually say right. what it is? I'm not clicks, interested in, uh, yeah, or like, or or just because it's a thing of like, uh -huh. we're continuing to look at this uh, franchise as they're in the shitter, right? Exactly. As opposed exactly. to looking at sort of just concrete information that's coming right, out, right? Exactly. Yeah. If we feel that way again after Joss Whedon's no longer doing Batgirl, then feel that way because yeah. at least that's concrete. Concrete news, and there was an announcement made, yeah. a dual announcement, and then go. Let's let's talk about it. Let's speculate. Let's mm -hmm. theorize all that stuff. But yeah. it's, it's not a constructive. Like, it's not constructive. It's not something that can no. be proven or disproven. Yeah. it's right. just like, wow, well, what's the it point, is what man? It is basically. Uh, what's the point? Jason Tully donated five bucks, so thank you so much for yeah, the thank super you so chat. Much. Uh, cool. Watch Elson Superhero News. And enjoyed it all. What do you guys think the Marvel? What do you guys think Marvel? Hold on. What do you guys think Marvel is relaunching its books again in May? Oh, why? why? So why do you think it's relaunching? Oh, in May? Uh, the reason is easy because they'll get the boost in sales of yeah. number one I issues. Mean, mm. They saw what happened with yeah. Rebirth and they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna do that too. Oh yeah, but Marvel's been doing it every year since 2013, I mm -hmm. think. Uh, Have they really? New Fifty Two was incredibly oh, successful sales wise, at least, and a lot of creative wise for DC Comics. Marvel in 2013 did Marvel Now, mm. which was That's great. Right. The year after that, that was yeah. like all new, all different yeah. Marvel Now. Like yeah. this kind of new iterations each year. And a lot of them are great. I know that um, Scott Porter loves the Marvel Now, sort of mm. that little relaunch of stuff. Some of it's successful, some of it's not. It's just a thing of like, 
They're going to get boosts in number one issue sales. And there's also probably behind the scenes reasons for creative teams shifting around. I mean, the thing that's really exciting, but also maybe not so exciting, a writer that's controversial and a lot of people don't like is writing Amazing Spider-Man, but the artist is Ryan Otley from Invincible. Yeah, yeah. boy. I'm so yeah. excited like, for that. I'm so happy for him. Yeah, yeah, Because I know. his art is some of my favorite ever. Like, yep. it's just the thing. He's been doing Invincible yep. for 10 years, 15 yep. years. Mm -hmm. And now he's like, cool, now I'm going to go over and just crush the game. Yep. Like, yeah, exactly. So I'm exactly. stoked about that. But that's also- And he's also, such a cool dude too. You know, Brian Michael Bendis leaving and going to DC. Yeah. Means that right. they're shifting around, yeah. and and Dan Slott is moving from Spider Man stuff to Iron Man stuff mm -hmm. to to maybe pick up what Bendis was working on before. Mm -hmm. There's just a lot of that shuffling. So like, For sure. a, there, I think the main two reasons are sales, and then because they're just like internally shuffling. And stuff I think out. I think yeah. also the the movies play a role. I would I would assume the movies play some sort of a role in yeah, it because they're well. doing a new Venom series. Yep. Yeah, Venom exactly. Number one, and, and he's on the not cover. only that, I think it's Eddie Brock. not only that, we're gonna be you know there's a Captain Marvel movie coming out. We're gonna mm -hmm. be exploring she more Black series. Panther. Yeah. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. It just makes sense because when the popularities of these characters grow because of the movies, it's a great opportunity for them to bring in new readers. And then those new readers right. can always go back and rediscover right. the old comics. Right, so. and, and and it's also another thing too of like comic books are so intimidating to get into if you no, if man. you are not exactly. into it at all. Like like you trying to jump into Marvel, like it's tough. It's, it's really <laughs> tough. You still haven't fully grasped onto it because yeah. it's so much stuff. So this gives people sort of like a jump off point if you really want to start reading comic books yeah then here's a point for you and maybe that's why they're doing it once a year like they have been doing it i mean they, they, it they said a they kind of think of it like seasons of a tv show yeah you know yeah. and i think that that's a smart that's way smart. to do it yeah. it's like look either you are a weekly comic reader or you're not yeah either you read comics or you don't yeah and it is so it is the most frustrating thing to try to answer the question, how can we get new people to read comics? Because yeah. the reality is, they fucking won't. Yeah, like, yeah. exactly. We have been, exactly. say, for years, have been exactly. like, oh, if you guys love this movie, go read a goddamn comic book. <laughs> yeah. we and made, there are people yeah. that are watching this right now, and they're like, no, I still won't. We, like, <laughs> we made those you know, videos, and legit, those were the worst viewed videos yeah. that we had made. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so, people just were not watching it. It yeah. sucks, man. Yeah. Uh, we had uh, Doe Lifed, he asked a question. I think it's Dollified. Do oh, yeah, Dollified. Sorry, I it, I always get confused, and I can't read to I know, apparently. because the eyes, the yeah, capital eyes, and lowercase cells look all the same. Super chat at ten bucks. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you question. very much. Mark Hamill in Guardians. Eh. Eh, well, yeah, That'd be perfect. It would be, it would be, it was cool. And I love, I love the fact that we live in a world where social media can offer us these opportunities where we sort of have an inside look. Mm -hmm. James Gunn uh, was answering a question about Mark Hamill, a fan question about Mark Hamill joining the Guardians universe, and he was like, "Hey, he lives down, he lives around the corner from me in Malibu. If he wants to come by, have coffee and talk, <laughs> we're in. Or, I'm into it. Dudes. Let's go buy a house out there. I know, right? And then Mark <laughs> Hamill responded, was like, "I'd love to," and he was like, "Oh, oh my god." okay uh dm me your address i don't know how this dm thing works i don't know if i can message wow. you. he's like oh follow me and then we can figure it out <laughs> so i mean they're gonna have a conversation about it seems like so to me that's really really cool and yeah, yeah. yeah. mark hamill obviously if you saw the last jedi you saw how that ends he will probably have some sort of a, a role in episode nine but yeah. it'd be great to throw him in the guardians universe it's, it's mark hamill he's an incredible he's so great. voice actor get yeah. him to voice a weird little alien thing. yeah exactly yeah. Like a CG exactly thing or like put him in makeup we've totally. had sylvester stallone michelle yo cameos yeah. in michael Guardians rosenbaum movies. michael rosenbaum was yeah. in it uh, it makes sense i don't want him to necessarily maybe have his role as big as like kurt russell sure but yeah. like he can just be in the background oh, yeah he can be and then that I'm, means mark hamill was a part of the marvel cinematic exactly. yeah it's great he's been playing roles like that since forever yeah. but people just don't realize how hard that dude has been grinding yeah. to 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 you know stay in the industry and, and keep doing what he loves to do. Totally. And so it's it may it, it's a perfect fit. It's yeah. a perfect cash. You if you have questions, like comics questions that is uh, especially superhero stuff, hit me up on Twitter and then yeah. I can give you yeah. like start here, start here because it is so overwhelming. And yeah. I love when people ask me they're like Green Lantern, where do I start? I'm like I've got a couple. Try these. <laughs> yeah. I love doing that. Yeah, I really sure. do. So. Uh, we had a super chat from Kadarius James. Uh, X Force so is coming much. in the fall. Four ninety nine. Thank you. So Four ninety nine. It's a value meal. Uh, it's for That's one, a Twitch subscription. One of us is going to buy a value meal, yeah. so we're going to fight for it later. Uh, X-Force is filming in the fall. Deadpool and Cable to leave. Who else did you guys want to see in the film and what villain? I would love to. I would love to see Strife. Oh, Strife's pretty cool, actually. Strife, the evil cable. Yeah, Just have the James evil Brolin cable. Play yeah, the evil guy. But doesn't she have like six arms or something like that? No, that's Lady Deathstrike. Okay. No, no, no. Lady no, Deathstrike doesn't Spiral. have Spiral. Spiral, that's what I'm talking Strife about. is an okay. evil clone of... Cable, oh, okay. who wears like a big silver contraption-y, yeah, like pointy. That's, what, that's he what I'm looks, thinking of. He like looks the like the silver, shredder. the silver mask, right? Yeah, yeah, he's got like a big half mask. It's this weird big thing. Okay, okay. We have computers yeah. on our phones. I, just I know, right? Well, of them right now. I'm watching out for the questions yeah, in the yeah, chat. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, as, okay. as people well, are, what was the uh, first part of the question? Uh, the first part of the question was who do you who else or who else do you guys want to see in the film? In X Force, yeah. 
That's a good question. I'm I'm not extremely familiar with the X Force characters with the lineup, and I know that the that the teaser or the second trailer that we got mm -hmm. it teased a potential lineup of characters. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm I'm sort of excited to see any of them. If they do any more crossover with X Men characters, that would be cool. Yeah, but I, how I, terrible this costume is. Wouldn't that be yeah. amazing? Oh, wow. that's Strife. Yep, yep, yep. I remember cool. Strife. Cool. That looks tight. <laughs> he's, evil, he's evil Cable. Oh yeah. wow, that's so. Yeah. They, that's a thing where they could take a, a costume. A great costume designer, great concept artist could take that and yeah. run with it and make a cool thing. That's very yeah. Thor-like. It's, like yeah. it's raining guys. real hard right now. Uh, if this cuts out because of rain, sorry, but uh, <laughs> California yeah, is Southern California is not built for rain. No, that's we are for sure. Not built for any kind of. Um, but yeah, so I, I, almost any X Men character, I'm really. You, Adam. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, at this point, I'll take whatever. I'm open I can to get. it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I'm not doing the same theorizing in the X Men movie universe that I do with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, yeah. Yeah. or exactly. even like DC films, or even like the DC TV show stuff, where I'm like, oh, here's how you could work in Booster Gold. And do this. Yeah, and do this. yeah. With the X Men movies, I'm like, at this point, y'all are all dude, over the place. Yeah. I'll take whatever I can get. Yeah, like, exactly. I'm not exactly. going to theorize because then you give me something that's Logan, that's yeah. not connected yeah. to anything, yeah. and it's fucking great. Yeah. So, exactly. just, you know, do your thing. Do your thing. You do you, you boo boo. Do you boo, -boo. <laughs> uh, Darified gave another $10. Dang, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, and Kevin Conroy rumored as a voice uh, of the Black Order in Infinity War. I heard really? that I heard that Ooh. there are some dope people lined up for, for the Black for, Order. For the Black Order. Ooh. And if Kevin Conroy is one of them, Ooh. I might shit myself in that theater. <laughs> I love it. I love um, it. That would be amazing. Do you uh, think then, then um, I mean, it's uh, you would think after all of the examples up to this point right? that there still would not be people that are exclusively DC or exclusively Marvel. But do you think after that happens that DC fans will still be like, nah, we have to shun Kevin Conroy now because he did a Marvel thing? Or do Y'all crazy. That yeah, or do you think <laughs> that they'll finally the be like, you know what? And say, you are my Batman. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, well, he's yeah. also another character in something yeah. else. Ben yeah. Affleck never did a Marvel project. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. It was called Little Daredevil. <laughs> Um, that would be amazing, though. And I, He's got a great voice. There are so many amazingly, incredibly talented voice actors. I mean, I, I went to the Star Wars Rebels panel, and there was a Q&A with the cast. And it's amazing how many different roles mm -hmm. some of those actors play. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's incredible. Voice actors are amazing. And yeah. if you get some really cool ones that are from like deep comic book, animated series lore, animated movies... We're going to eat that shit And also up. watch the documentary, I Know That Voice. That thing oh, that right. is great. amazing. Yeah. Great. Amazing yeah. documentary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, before we move on, next question. Johnny Lowe, longtime viewer. Hey, Johnny Lowe. Hey, what's up? Johnny Lowe. Uh, what are your thoughts of Chris Hemsworth signing up to, uh, to a, do a spinoff Men in Black? Yeah, Men in Black is an interesting project at Sony. Uh, it's been going through so many changes. It, why spin-off? What does that mean? I, I don't... Well, originally it was going to be a 23, 21 Jump Street Men in Black oh, crossover I movie. I don't want that to happen. Which is... What? Um, yeah. And now, yeah, now apparently it's a rumor that's going to be a Chris Hemsworth spin-off. But uh, yeah, I don't know what that entails. I don't know if it's just going to be set in the Men in Black universe. Agent J is still around. K is probably retired still. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And... It's a solo adventure with this new character and a new partner. Mm -hmm. Look, I love Chris Hemsworth. I think he's super charming. I think a lot of people are surprised at how good he is at comedy. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he can also have sort of a more serious, mm -hmm. you know, uh, it's, it's acting ability to him. That's but... what he wants to do. He wants to do comedy. Yeah. Stuff, you know? I'm all, I mean, yeah. I love Men in Black, the first one. I think two, I don't like two. I didn't even get around to seeing three. I saw, the reason I, I, I saw a part of it and I was <laughs> not into it. Yeah. If it's a Men in Black movie in the vein of the first one and it's Chris Hemsworth, then sure, but pair him up yeah. with someone really cool. Yeah, exactly. Donald Glover. I agree. I'm, I don't, oh, I'm, I'm not, I, that'd be amazing. Oh, right. Donald Glover? Yeah. <gasps> I, I love following the formula of like oh you gotta God. have one white guy, one yeah. black guy, yeah. and it's a buddy comedy, you know. Or or, or get Taika to direct it. Damn, yes, son. Yes. I, then then I'm like I'm in. Then yeah. I'm interested. Or yeah. Do the thing that uh, they kind of tease at the end of the first film, but we never really got to see, which is that Agent J got a female partner. Yes, like Linda Fiorentino. You know, and yeah. then we got to see. I think it was Emma Thompson who played like the head of mm. MIB and MIB mm -hmm, Three. Yeah, mm -hmm. So I think that there's things you can do that at like surface level is easy to update it to a 2018 world, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think that if you go to that first movie, it is so 1997, mm -hmm. and I love the first Men in Black, mm -hmm. but I think you can do things to update it while still keeping it very like fun and cheesy. Yeah, totally. But the, my update 
idea would be to kind of make it just a bit more serious mm -hmm. yes. so that maybe we kind of wash out the taste of men in black two and three a little right, bit right, you right. know a little bit more serious maybe a little bit more emotion but yeah. still have like hey jay the little worms yeah here. like the yeah. weird yeah. alien oh, guy yeah. 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 you gotta have that and then vincent d'onofrio there's nothing yes. funny about his character and he killed the it, idea right. is it funny of the cockroach yeah. in yes. the skin Inside, body just yeah. the but like nope. skin he was like a formidable threat absolutely so you, can, you know but he still was his big cg thing but it was yeah. still like a big threat so i agree i think you can I think I would like to love to see if they want to do a part four to leave it open for Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones cameos right, and whatever right. else. Fine, mm -hmm. but definitely basically do what Twenty One Jump Street did, yeah, where they had mm -hmm. two new characters. They weren't replacing the roles that like Johnny Depp yeah. played and Richard Grieco played right, back in yeah. the original show. It yep, was like yep. they're still in the world, but they're totally new characters. Yeah. So give that to Hemsworth and somebody else. And I like this great. comment by Fourth Edge: Chris Hemsworth and Letitia Wright. Damn. And Taika Waititi is director. Damn. Y'all, that would be dope. Damn. Let's that would be make that amazing. Happen. That would be great. That would be so good cool. Question. So we had another Call question Nisa. by Fegs252. Uh, what was the best new indie comic you read last year? Thank you for the 20 pounds. Thank you very much. Uh, is it 20 pounds or is it 20? I think it's 20 pounds. It's 20 pounds, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I didn't read yes. any new comics uh, mm. last year. Hector, did you read any? Oh, you're, yeah. Ton. You're the I'm most, trying to think. The most reedy reader here. I'm trying to think like indie <laughs> you're comic. You're the most red red. Yeah. That I really dug. Oh, you know which one is I'll pick? I'll pick this. It's from Skybound Entertainment. Mm -hmm. And it is, I think, an image comic. It's called Manifest Destiny. Interesting. And okay, what it I've does is that, it tells yeah. the story of Lewis and Clark. But right. their original, oh, their original, you showed me that and it got weird it and fun. Mm -hmm. The original story goes that like the president at the time sent Lewis and Clark across the country to manifest destiny to yeah. clear the path for the for to the kill all the brown the people colonization yeah. of the mm -hmm. the the. the, the um, yeah colonizers the um the the yeah the people the from settlers. the colonies yeah. i guess the settlers thank you the early americans mm -hmm. um but their real mission was like you got to go kill these monsters because like Ooh, this one dude came back with this crazy like centaur so they have skull to fight like the wendigo and they have to there fight is like mythical and, creatures yeah. kind of like that and then new shit mm. and then there is like a buffalo skinwalkers there's like a group of like buffalo uh centaurs yeah so instead of like a horse with a with a, a with a man, it's centaur. like a, it's like a buffalo That's like cool. head on a man body mm, with a but you yeah. know so it gets weird and then Saka Jawea is like a badass really she's like their guide but also like fucking assassin like she <laughs> like takes care of business when they yeah. when they you know come up against yeah. stuff that they yeah. can't. So I really That's like that amazing. Check it okay, out. so go check Destiny. that one out. Yeah. Uh, we had another twenty dollars super chat from Thank Matthew you Blair. Very much. Thank you so much. Uh, what's your vision for post mod? Uh, what's Infinity it called? War. Infinity War MCU also. Um, use this for your next C California burritos when you come back down to, yeah. to San Diego. Thank you. Uh, Was that 20 bucks? Also. Was yeah, 20? 20 bucks. So that'll get, that'll we'll get hell a, yeah. That'll get a Cali burrito. Yeah, that'll They're get a Cali burrito. Yeah. We can, we yeah. can share one. Adam yeah. and I can split one. Hell Hector's no. A, Hector's a burrito hog. So. <laughs> I think you have to bring the world down a little bit to, yeah. uh, to focus on leading up to sort of the next big cosmic thing. The easy thing to go to because they're being introduced in Captain Marvel are scrolls. Yep. Yeah. The easy thing to go to for a whole phase is to focus on who do we? Who do you trust? Mm -hmm. Who's a scroll? Mm -hmm. Who's not a scroll? Yeah. Oh, Jeremy Renner yeah. has been a scroll the right whole time. The That's why I didn't like Damn. him. Damn, like, son. That would be yeah. easy and fun to do. And then I think that another cool thing to do would be um, to basically focus now on villains and a villain team up. Because if Dark we had the Avengers, Avengers, that's a good idea. Dark Avengers yeah. would be amazing. Like, god damn it, if the Marvel Studios people could get Sony to go. Let us do the Sinister Six or let us do Norman Osborn. And yeah. they got somebody like a Matthew McConaughey to be Norman Osborn, the mm. new Green Goblin. All and right, he recruited right, like right. Yeah. he got like the the villains that will, you know, he's good. He's bringing Michael Keaton in. He's bringing um, God, we lost Killmonger. But like, you know what I mean? Like maybe maybe Claw can come back it is, as a mm -hmm. being made of sounds. Mm -hmm. so you got Andy Serkis Claw to come back. Yeah. But just focus on building up the villains the way that they focused on villains in Spider-Man Homecoming and Black Panther. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. either lead to a Masters of Evil team up. Versus the Avengers in an Avengers movie or Dark Avengers as a yeah. whole movie itself yeah. or just Dark Reign, which is when like the villains were in charge. Right. Yeah. And that happened right. in comics after Norman Osborn himself shot and killed the Skrull Queen, mm -hmm. Varanke, mm -hmm. uh, who was disguising herself <laughs> as Spider-Woman. So it's a thing where like maybe the villains could rise up and then it's like, now we're in charge of S.H.I.E.L.D. We're going to change yeah. it to Hammer. Yeah. So you can, you can, I would just, there's a lot of different phases you can focus I, on. That's I, I like I that, Hector, but I also like the House of M route that you could take. Okay. Getting, right. getting demolished from the inside by somebody who you never thought was going to yeah. happen. I mean, that's also a very super scroll kind of like secret scroll a little bit kind of situation. Um, 
But I think some that would definitely ground it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're gonna ha it's gonna be heavy into Scarlet Witch and Vision, yeah. and having that sort of be the central story. Also, it's interesting that Thor has his eye sliced just like Odin. What are they gonna do with that? Uh. Is he gonna ascend to Thoden? To Thoden? To, to <laughs> Thoden. <laughs> Thoden. 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 That's yeah. a dope he's gonna be Thoden. Thoden. Uh, he's gonna be Thoden. The All Father. Um, yeah. The, yeah. He's gonna yeah. ascend to be the All Father, and then something <laughs> else. So I think they're setting up for something like that. Mm -hmm. I think we're seeing hints of it that aren't gonna pay off until after Infinity. War. Plus, I think I think at the end of Infinity War and Avengers Four, I think there's probably going to be a lot of casualties and a lot of destruction. Absolutely, I imagine Absolutely. so. So yeah, I, I think it would be smart of them to start Phase Four in a way that is rebuilding, and not only is it rebuilding sort of the world, but it's also rebuilding what we lost with the Avengers, because I think we're going to lose some characters, and I think some characters oh, yeah, are going to die. And we're going to have the new Avengers come in. Absolutely, They'll probably yeah. be led by Black Panther, Spider-Man, and Captain Marvel. Yeah. And Claire's I in the chat! Hey! <laughs> I was watching what do you nerds? <laughs> What do you right. nerds want? <laughs> All right. How dare you? You know what? They forget it, Claire. You. I, I think you're right. Leave. I think they are right. forget yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. Go watch yeah. the sequel to that movie. So we don't even our care. good buddy Uberbaldi in the chat gave ten dollars. Thank you so much, Thanks, Uberbaldi. Uber you know we love you. Uh, seems that the character posters for Solo were ripped off from the a series of music anthology CDs that were released several years ago. Thoughts on the possibility of this being confirmed as true? I saw that. I, I saw, haven't seen those posters. Yet. I saw that in my feed. Um, it has like Solo written on it, and then within the lettering, they have like an image of the characters. Yeah. And yeah, someone posted a side by side. I think it was on Instagram or something. They posted a side by side of the old album covers and how much they look. And I, I thought, I thought that. Um, they were purposely homaging that when I saw it, mm -hmm. but apparently, yeah, it's apparently like a straight rip off that yeah, they didn't know. Apparently, this person is like whoever it helped design it or whatever the the case. Hold on, may guys, be. real quick. Somebody yeah. on my Instagram post for my Coco Blu-ray. Uh oh. Put this amazing in 4K HDR. 4K better than 3D Blu-ray. I'm just gonna delete that. Oh comment. boy. Oh <laughs> boy. I don't put up with that shit. I'm oh like, boy. Don't you dare oh say boy. those I kind just, of words on Hector. I oh straight no. deleted that comment. <laughs> I've never you did. I watched him do it. Nope. Not in this house. Uh, not up in here. Not uh, up in here, Satan. Claire, your presence has has been missed. So welcome back to the chat. Yeah, uh, welcome. And we don't like you. Ooh. Just kidding. We like you. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Uh, we were talking about Thoden after Thoden. Um... Oh no, we we're talking about the solo artwork. Oh yeah, the solo mm -hmm. artwork. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea whether or not like what's going to happen. If there is going to be a lawsuit, there won't be a lawsuit. That's super interesting to me that there is this person th th that Lucasfilm or Disney or whoever like very much copied this artwork i don't know i would love to read about it more if you guys have any links uh if you guys have any links to it please link it yeah, to us because yeah. i definitely want to read up on it and see what is going yeah. on yeah definitely I, I i think it's it i think it's weird that somebody would do something like that yeah uh, i wouldn't be surprised if there was already an agreement on it beforehand i don't because think that disney would do that and not Right, exactly, because it's not like some you can slip something under Disney's yeah. doorstep. Oh, like it's it was, just... it was uh, Robert uh, Robert Burnett who tweeted about yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, uh, one that. thing though that I did want to talk about that is somebody recut the Han Solo trailer to put the Beastie Boys. Yeah, and it's track tight. behind it, and it's amazing. It's so good. <laughs> it's actually really, really good. I would 100 percent watch that uh, yeah, movie. Yeah, totally. Based on that trailer, uh, Mighty Wombat. Super chat at twenty dollars. Oh, thank, thank you so much. much. Now all three of us can get California burritos. Yay! Yay! California burritos. Uh, oh wait, it it scrolled down. Dang it! It ran away. It ran away. Hold See on. See what happened. Me, this, this, is, this, is this is the thing. This is the thing. We gotta we gotta we gotta find all these questions. Okay, here we go. Uh, do you think any superhero movies have been worthy of Best Picture Oscar nod? Hell uh, yeah! What would they have mm -hmm. to do to get there? Like, what, good okay, question. So what movie I don't care. would do you <laughs> have the Academy die? Those old guys die <laughs> off. Like, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, The Dark Knight for sure. Logan. Yes. Um. Yes. I think Superman the movie. I think Superman the movie is is where it would would have been worthy in 1978. Yeah, uh, or 79, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think of what other ones. Another yeah, pretty brutal, dude. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll yeah, I'll put a photo so up when uh, when I re Dang. do the re edit. You'll, yeah. you'll see. Yeah, it. somebody needs to get paid. Yeah, yeah somebody right? needs to. <laughs> those posters are great, but they're great because it's the Han Solo characters. Right. Yeah. Funk, jazz, right. electronic funk, and soul look cool, but I wouldn't want those posters just because of their yeah. They're like their graphic art. Yeah. Because I don't care as much about funk, jazz, electronic funk, and soul as mm -hmm. I do about Chewy and yeah. Lando. So um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, man. Uh, let's get those people paid. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, if if there is no restriction on it, and if you're just asking me what movies would I would do, I think Black Panther is definitely one of them. 
I think I think Wonder Woman the two thirds there's two thirds of a really 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 good movie yeah. and that 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 final act just sort of brings it down a little bit. Dark yeah. Knight absolutely yeah. should Dark have been Knight, nominated. Yeah, yeah. Dark Knight was, definitely wasn't it? no no, no. Well, after post post no. yeah it uh, it was nominated for um best cinematography actor, best supporting, best supporting actor, actor. Best, oh, it should have right. been yeah. best picture yeah yeah yeah. 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 And then the following year, they upped it to uh, 10. So yeah. go figure. Yeah. yeah. Claire, you don't I, get a burrito. Claire, uh, I, Dollar Fight, no, no, Dollar Fight said another burrito for Claire. So All right. $20 goes to Claire, I guess. I guess. All right. If she ever I comes guess. over here to LA. <laughs> visit, I know. She came close and didn't want to visit because apparently she she thinks we stink or something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no. So $20. Thank you, Dollar Fight. Um, no spoilers for Black Panther. But where do you guys think the Soul Stone is now? Ooh. Could still be in Wakanda. Good Some question. people said it's the vibranium mound itself. It, it was in the meteorite. And that's you think it's like powering. in the middle? You yeah. think Thanos is just going to crack the mountain yep. in half that's and get to the saying. stone in and the middle? And then it's like, good luck because Wakandans will defend it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, and then that makes more sense oh for everybody, all of the tribes teaming up and repelling yeah. Yeah. the invader. He's going to punch the mountain and crack it in half. I don't know, man. I mean, I think there's a big I'm reason crazy. why the movie takes place in Wakanda. And yeah, I think that's got to be, that's got to be, why, why else yeah. would every single person, every single army mm -hmm. in Wakanda defend the nation alongside Captain America, Bucky, Scarlet, or uh, Black Widow, mm -hmm. you know, War Machine, Falcon, and the Hulk. There's a reason yeah. for it. Yeah. Unless, what if like the vision goes to Wakanda and they're like, it's right. heavily fortified. Maybe. And T'Challa's like, come here and we can protect the vision. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Or yeah. something, but yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited for the fact that that movie actually does take place in Wakanda. I'm Very really, excited. so So one of my good friends, uh, her name is LT. Uh, she was not into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. She's African-American. Mm -hmm. she's, uh, she's an amazing person. Uh, she, but she was not about these Marvel movies. Her mm -hmm. kids weren't really into it, like yeah. nothing. And... Black Panther completely threw her into it, and yeah. now she's like watching the movies backwards. Nice. Oh, cool. And then I posted the picture of us hitting a million with our trailer review, and she was like, "I gotta watch this." And yeah. I was like, "Don't worry, a lot of Infinity War takes place in Wakanda, looks like." And she's yeah. like, "I'm there. Count me in." <laughs> oh, yeah. nice. Like this is how it's gonna get people in. You See, know? that's so that she's momentum. Like all about it, Black Panther yeah. comes out, and people love it, and it's like cool. Two months later, you get to see him again. Yeah, and exactly. See Wakanda again in exactly. Infinity War. Exactly. Oh, that's uh, did you great. guys see the video where Jimmy Fallon surprised people with? Yes, I yeah, did. It was good. Chadwick, Chadwick Boseman. Boseman. Good. Great. I love the part where he came out and did the accent mm -hmm. of when yeah. he was talking to the girl. I almost yeah. cried at that part. Yeah. I was like. <gasps> It's him. And everyone's yeah. like, really my, king. My, yeah, king. my king, my king, <laughs> my king, my king. I love it. I love it. If I ever see that Amazing. dude in real life, you he he's gonna get this everywhere, but forever. Yeah. But I will yeah. absolutely be like, my king. You know. <laughs> yeah. Or or so or the high five with the. Mm -hmm. yep. That was the cool one. Yeah. That was a really cool yeah. one. Sure that yeah. he's in airports and people are just like, Wakanda forever. When, they, like, when he's like going <laughs> through stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who yeah. who I think Ryan Coogler needs to get. I haven't seen a lot of praise for Ryan Coogler on oh. this. Like. Yeah, he crushed yeah, it. Yeah, Michael E. Jordan's fantastic. Yes. Like, Chadwick Boseman, uh, every, every great. actor brought great. their A-game. Everybody. Angela Bassett, great. Ryan Coogler, yeah. where's his press the run? Coogs. Yeah, yeah. where's Coogs. his press run? He's, yeah. He did that one video, mm -hmm. breaking down the fight scene. That Vanity Fair video is so fucking it's amazing. good. He, he's not getting mm -hmm. his praise. I'm sure he's, he's like, in the director's circle. Yeah. People are praising him. But yeah. he, everybody in the world needs to know that. Ryan Coogler is the there, man behind and there, all there of were this. a couple of people who reached out and they were like, "Hey, love Black Panther, going to see Creed." Mm -hmm. You get a response later. Right. Damn, that movie's good. I'm like, yeah, yeah. No shit. If you have not seen Creed, <laughs> watch it and as soon as we're another, done here. Yeah. Another great tweet. Somebody was like, "I'm watching all the Rocky movies now because I loved Creed so much yes. and I've never seen him. Yeah. Why didn't anybody tell me that Rocky was just this adorable guy who loves turtles? Right. And is, you know, and right? it's like I didn't know he was this perfect little cinnamon bun of a guy. Like yeah. I would have loved these movies. Oh. Like no, man. Everybody thinks they're. He's like, well, I don't like boxing, and I tell yeah. people it's not a, even it's about not a boxing movie. It's not about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you get hit. And oh, keep moving forward. That's how Don't winning even, is done. Boom. Don't even so start. Good. Otherwise, I'm going to start crying. <laughs> so Another $20 super chat from the Annoying Ranter. Thank Ooh, you so much for right. those $20. Mm -hmm. Now, I think we can get Lucas a burrito. I Lucas, we, we got you back, burrito. baby. Okay. Uh, fan cast Fantastic Four and Marvel Cinematic Universe. How about uh, a oh, office tough. vibe with John K <laughs> as that. Reed, Emily Blunt as Sue, Sam Claflin? Uh, Hunger Claflin, Games. Okay, yeah. Claflin, yeah. Uh, as Johnny and David Denman, Roy from The Office. Roy from The Office? Yeah, Roy from The Office. Yeah, Roy from The Office. And the dad in Power as Rangers. Ben. Interesting. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, that's a very interesting cat. Mm -hmm. If you're going to go Office style. <laughs> that's a very interesting movie. take on the Fantastic Four. Uh, also, he finished it with Been a Fan since Superhero News Days. Love you guys. Thank you, Thank so, you much so much for watching yes. all this stuff. That is an interesting 
casting choice. Fan, fan casting, yeah. uh, Fantastic Four is interesting because I feel like it's always been a back and forth of like, how much do you change? How much mm -hmm. do you, you right, know, right, this right. and that? And what story do you go with? Yeah. And what versions? Like, are we going with Ultimate? Are we going right. to have the kids involved? Is there not going to be kids? Like, yeah. what are we going to do? I feel like because we try to do the young version of the Fantastic Four. You got to go old. Yeah, yeah, you either you either go old or you go somewhere in the middle. Yeah, you don't go too yeah. young, but you don't go too old. You go right, somewhere right. like in the uh, mid mid thirties. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think I think there's what and I, that to me kind of feels like what the Fantastic Four movie was in two thousand five, yeah, two thousand seven. Yeah. That to me is sort of like thirties, late twenties. Yeah, I, yeah. I think I think that's kind of an appropriate. I place would to like start. the older Richard because because Richard has to be confident. Like Can you he. Read? Oh yeah, Richard Reed. <laughs> yeah. Reed Richards. Reed Richard, Richard Reed. Richard Reed. Richard Whatever. Ryder. I cannot get my name straight today, His two guys. First name. His Words. Rain is just throwing me off. So, I like him when he's fully confident. Like there's no wavering, mm -hmm. and somebody outsmarts him. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. somebody Doom. brings a plan. Doom. I know what you're doing. You're yeah, doing. and somebody brings a plan that he's like, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Like this is stressing yeah. me out, and like it kind of it kind of stresses the team out, and like it's just it's a crazy power dynamic when you have somebody who's at the top of his game mm -hmm. with Reed at the top of his game, and somebody pulling a fast one on him, like trying yeah. to destroy the world, coming up with something that he hasn't thought of because he is one of these smartest beings. I got on this. Earth. How about this? Check this. If he can still do it, I think he can do it. George Clooney is Reed Richards. Mm -hmm. And Javier Bardem as Victor Von Doom. Yo. Oh, shit. Yo. That attitude, that Let's vibe. Let's cast them Silva. for Doom the Musical. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Mr. Bardem, if you're listening, I told him he's one of the greatest actors ever. So yeah. he's like, okay, great, done. Let's great. do it. I was like, <laughs> Let's, do right. it. Let's get it done. He's so, he's so fucking intimidating. I love is it. it. <laughs> yeah. He's amazing. He's great. Uh, Azteca Aguilar 04 says, uh, thank you for the $2, Thanks by the way. Much. Here's the feria for the four, <laughs> for four tacos at Jack in the Box. We'll take it. I fucking love Jack in the Box, you guys. Same. Thank you. Yeah, j -Bow. I will take that. Let's do it. Those are some good ones. And I love that he mm -hmm. said feria because mm -hmm. nobody mm -hmm. that's not, that doesn't that's speak like, Spanish knows what it means. Yeah, but it's just slang for money. Change. Oh, what kind of Here's like, here's like the loose yeah, change. Yeah. Here's the cash. <laughs> yeah, here's the there cash. You hey, did you guys get a chance to check out that uh, Shazam photo? I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. What did. happened to this, Adam? What I happened? Know, good question. I don't know. I got the chat here. Uh, I'll, I'll go take a look. I'll, I'll go check this out. So, yeah, we got we got this like <laughs> we got this first. It's it's a set photo. It's a set photo from the Shazam movie. We don't even get to see the whole thing, um, which is weird because it's like the back of the costume the cape looks exactly like it does in the comics um but there's not much to go off of i was hoping that david of sandberg and warner brothers would release can you refresh it Ongi? I, I thought they were going to release an official photo yeah. of what he looks like but i mean it looks very much like uh he does from the comic books like it looks alex ross well, slash you, justice league war well, you said it man it's like it's tough to look at but yeah. when, you, when, you, when the photo came out you were like well i hope they just release an official photo soon yeah because it sucks if people are looking that at that before and i'm sure they're like damn it i'm sure right. someone's like god damn it we're yeah. gonna have a cool thing <laughs> son of a bitch <laughs> so let's just hope we see that all right yeah. i guess that's looking no is it still blank the whole thing yeah. hey guys that's yeah. great thanks youtube Do it. That's fine. Do it. Uh, off, there's like another it. tab that actually has, yeah, so if you just close it out and all that good shit. Hey, look, it's us. Hey. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that I wanted to mention was that um, Marvel just announced like a whole slate, a new release slate. Oh, yeah. Up to 2022. Yeah. 2021, three movies. 2022, three movies. A lot of people are like, what can they be? Mm-hmm. You know that February, I think it's February 2021. That's like, that's got to be a Black Panther movie. Yeah. It's got to be Black Panther. It's got to be things yeah. like Captain Marvel sequel, like Spider Man sequels, uh, Guardians 3, mm -hmm. Captain Inter Marvel 2, yeah. Doctor Strange 2, yeah, exactly. Ant Man and the Wasp 2, right. or 3. Or 3, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Ant Man, the Wasp, and Giant Man, or I don't know. What's, yeah. What's the third Giant one? Giant Man and the Wasp. Yeah, Giant Man and the Wasp. Oh, that'd be cool. That could be interesting. But I think it's so hard to say. And I think uh, Comic-Con this year, I think Marvel is going to have a huge presence in Hall H this year. Mm -hmm. And I think they're going to try to hold on to the title of Avengers 4 until then. Mm -hmm. And then I have a strong feeling that once we get to Hall H on that Saturday, they're going to unleash the beast <sighs> and announce Phase 4, whatever um, the new phase. Bum, 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 yep. bum. And it's going to be like, 
Marvel Cinematic Universe, probably with some new logo, yeah. and then it's going to go Secret Invasion. Everyone's going to go, ah! ah! <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, see, I told you. That's what <laughs> I lose my shit. Out. Good thing you got that big blanket. And then earlier on, earlier that day on Saturday, Warner Brothers is going to be like, we've got a Aquaman teaser because they're still doing special effects. Yeah. And people will be like, yeah, what else? And they'll go, <laughs> shows I am. Here's some, more, here's some more Warner Brothers movies. Yeah. Oh, man, come on. We want DC stuff. Yeah, that's, that's, that's I think, been my always biggest complaint about the Warner Brothers panel is I wish that they would just do a DC block yes, that's like an they, hour and a half long yeah. and do it at a different time. I mean, I get why you're doing it all together because it's Warner Brothers. But what they need to do yeah. is they need to do an hour or an hour and a half block or two hour block of DC and have the first half be DC television to That'd get all those, cool, to, yeah. to get all the TV actors there. And then the second half needs to be like Henry Cavill, cinematic. Gal Gadot. Yeah. This, the cinematic side yeah. so that we can take some fucking pictures of Stephen Amell and Ben Affleck. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like tight. just do that to make the internet happy yeah. for a little while. And then have your Warner brothers panel where it's like uh, Godzilla versus King Kong or whatever thing we're going right. to look at, you know? Yeah. But, um, yeah. That's what they I know. That, that would be cool. But yeah, I think that's, 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 that's what they need. And, Last year they came out and they did Justice League and they did what was it? oh they did like a little teaser for Aquaman but mm -hmm. to be completely honest I couldn't even tell you what was in that teaser anymore. It was a guy fishing. It That's was right. quick yeah. cuts and then it was it's just like too early. It's like a year and a half out. Yeah, like, the visual effects aren't done. It's yeah. like I I almost would have just I would have honestly just been fine seeing like a thirty second thing or like a fifteen second thing that's like done. Mm -hmm. and that involves less visual effects shots mm -hmm. and more of just like Jason Momoa stuff. That yeah, they shot. Ar like Arthur Curry in a bar with a little scene and then he goes and then like jumps into the ocean. Or yeah, something. like, something that's or like, like a scene land. between him and like Tamara Morrison or something mm -hmm. like some. Yeah, something. Mary, you, you know, remember what they did in 2010 to promote Captain America? They had mm -hmm. they showed us the scene of yes. of Johann Schmidt uh, uh, played by um, uh, Hugo, Weaving. Hugo Weaving just interacting with a guy for a scene as he picks up the test rack and then it cut to like basically some costume tests because yeah. they had only been filming a week but they yeah. knew they're like let's prioritize the filming where we can basically finish a scene with no special effects and show the bad guy and then mm -hmm. we'll tell people about the movie exactly exactly Claire says I look fabulous you guys oh uh, you thank do. you, you do look fabulous. I appreciate da, 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 da. it uh, yeah. we had another five dollar oh, super chat from you. Mr. Better Uber Baldi thank you oh, so much uh, what if after Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Guillermo del Toro took over as director. Uh, yeah, I would want no. I want <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy to end with James Gunn, and I would want Guillermo to do something else. If it's Guardians, In that have, universe? It call, have it called like Guardians Three Thousand. Or, or yeah, do something like a thousand years from now, or in the year three thousand, or do something else in that universe that's not. That that's characters. a good answer because yeah. he also continued the question with, "What other Marvel property would you like Guillermo to direct?" Ah, aha, that's the good question right there. I mean, the I, easiest ones are like Ghost Rider and like you know the monstery ones. You know, what Hulk, if he he almost he did a Hulk TV monsters. show? Yeah. yeah, he almost did a Hulk TV yeah. show. Yeah. yeah. What if Guillermo del Toro came back and he rebooted Blade? Oh, that would be dope. Oh, oh yeah, that would yeah, be yeah. dope. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely right up his alley. The horror, the yeah. horror yeah, I mean, fiction. He did Blade too. Yeah. yeah, that would be awesome. Philip Irwin also suggested Humans. If they wanted to do an Inhumans movie, sure, that could be okay. really cool. Okay. But yeah. oh, man, if Guillermo was like, "I'm going to come back and I'm going to reboot Blade," <laughs> they're like, "Let's do Blade." Let's, you want to see Blade? It. Let's do Blade. Yeah, I'd be all for it. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, Guillermo Toro is so great. Yeah, he's he's the man. I'm he I'm so it. sad that he's not going to do Justice League Dark. Yeah. Or Dark Universe or whatever it's the hell okay. they're calling it. It's okay. It. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's fine. The dude's moving on. Like, if anybody knows how to take an L and come back yeah. and win, it's this guy. So whatever's coming up with him down the pipe for his mm -hmm. career, for sure. I'm all in for it. Especially if he's excited to do something. Absolutely. Because mostly all of his projects have been passion projects. <laughs> <laughs> Ramon Leon. What's up, buddy? Thank you for the $5 uh, super chat. Love you guys. Love the content. Been down since the superhero news. Orale! 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 Hope all is well. Thank you so thank much. You so thank much. you so much. I appreciate thank you. Thank the you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, some more tacos. Some more Jack exactly. in the Box tacos. More Jack in the Box. Uh, tacos. Um, I read that uh, Fox is going at 100 miles an hour to develop a Silver Surfer spinoff movie. Uh, apparently, that. Brian K. Vaughn is going to be writing it. I, 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 I'm, this whole Fox uh, Disney merger is interesting. Because I feel like Fox, in terms of its superhero properties, they are definitely trying to race a clock they're to trying, put out as many movies. I, I and I'm like, like, why? I feel like they're treating it like it's not going to happen. Like mm -hmm. they're, they're treating it like it's not inevitability yeah. that they are going to be sold no matter who they're sold to. Yeah. They're going to be sold off. And guess what? That franchise, I don't think anybody's going to pick it up right where you left it off. No. Yeah. 
Yeah. If I, Disney, I, if I Di it. yeah, if Disney fully sort of absorbs Fox and all of its properties. Kevin Feige's gonna go in there and be like, "Okay, this is what we're doing. New plan." He's like, "Finally, I know. All right, let me get my hands." If on this. anything, like, will anybody survive the purge? It could, like, maybe Deadpool and the X Force, but maybe. I don't, I don't know maybe. if if they're gonna how they're gonna approach a rated R universe at yeah, Disney. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Joe Miller yeah. says Silver Surfer is just dot 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 not necessary when he's by himself. I, I, I kind of disagree. I think Silver Surfer has had some cool solo stuff that he, he does has, on his own. But to your point, you can't you can't get to that until you do. I mean, it's Galactus. It's the coming of the Silver it's Surfer. It's the bigger yeah. universe Fantastic that Four. comes along with yeah, Silver man. Surfer. It's them being repelled from Earth. It's, right, that's, right. And, and I think that you're right with like, I'm not interested in this only because even with the talent, and it could be great, but I, I would be ideally the Silver Surfer is connected to the thing that I'm in love with, which is the Marvel Cinematic Universe, yeah, ideally, yeah. because that idea to have Galactus and Silver Surfer show up with that. Yeah. Oh, my God. I freaked out when we saw the Watchers mm -hmm. in Guardians 2. I mm -hmm. freaked out. Mm -hmm. I never thought I, w I didn't yeah. expect that move at all. I, I walked Those in big head when I got to interview yep. James Gunn yep. and I was like, oh, my God, you did the Watchers. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah. I'm like, that's Oh, that's the coolest shit <laughs> That's what ever. I'm talking about. You can't, you know, the Watchers are cool because they're part of that larger, nobody wants yeah. to see a Watcher movie. I'm not, yeah. The Silver Surfer is better than that. Norrin Rad is a very cool character and he can espouse a lot of interesting philosophical yeah. bullshit as he's surfing the waves. <laughs> but like, you can gotta, that be the tagline of the poster? Yeah. yeah, it's a bunch of philosophical es bullshit. Espouse it philosophical out. bullshit. Espouse, but you, yeah. gotta, you gotta set up that other stuff first. <laughs> There's a moth in here that Hector oh, doesn't it's agree. It's done. Hector doesn't agree it's with. Done. I disagree. <laughs> I disagree with you, moth. <laughs> uh, we don't see eye to eye on this no, one. He's coming over like, no, I want to see Silver Surfer <laughs> disconnected. Like, on, like, get Hector out Hector hasn't here. even had any soju today. Yeah, I know. There's some in the fridge. It's too early mm. for soju. Oh, it no, actually, early. it's too It's never how too long, early. How long are we going to go, by the way? Are we? Yeah, probably another 20 minutes. Another 20 minutes? Okay. Yeah, we started so if you guys have any other questions, make sure you ask away. Uh, we still have a few other topics to cover. We're probably here, not right? going to get through all of them. No. We're just fine. We're just, we're, 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 this is we're, just a, a casual session. day. It's a casual yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. It's Saturday. We're having fun here. Doesn't have to be all comic books. Ask away. You yeah. got a, you got a dating question? I'll sure I'll answer it. Whatever. Mm -hmm. I am I'll still probably single. Give you. <laughs> um, I d is that Cameron? God Who is it, that? Kaiju. Ka Kaiju. Go Dogs barking at things. Oh, yeah, Are yeah. you is he, is he reacting to like our video over there being maybe? Played? There's somebody oh, knocking there's somebody at the door. It could be Cameron Rice. Yeah. Okay. Who knows? Cameron's going to be doing a photo shoot here. Okay. Um, I, I've been reading, and I, I obviously I didn't get to do a full deep dive on this. I'm very interested to see what's going to happen here. But um, AT&T was supposed to be acquiring Time Warner. Mm. And mm. there is some stuff going around that maybe, possibly, if it doesn't go through, that Time Warner may end up selling off Warner Brothers in DC, which would be mm. very interesting how that would play out, um, whether or not it's going to be together. Scary, man. Who knows? Oh, my God. Um, I, I'm hoping that wherever DC goes, it goes with a studio. I don't. I think it would be crazy if it all of a sudden was just like an independent entity that was kind of up for grabs. Yeah. It was what? what just publishing? No, it has to because it's already like – no, it has to because it's got – It would have to go with Warner TV Brothers, right? Production. It would ha yeah, like that's – Packages! Anything for me? Sorry, bud. Oh, man. Yeah. Come on. I, I love getting Blu-rays. It's like Christmas at the house. Diana, sometimes. no, <laughs> but uh, very flattered. Thank you so much. But I am taken. Yes, what? I am taken. I have a particular set oh. of skills. <laughs> Diana is asking if I'm single. I thought, she, I thought she was saying that she was taken. I was like, no, who said what? I am. I am. I am taken by me yes that's right i'm in a relationship <laughs> with adam and it's going we're kind of, it's a little rocky right now it's a little rocky right we'll now we'll figure it out we'll yeah out. we're working on it we're working on it <laughs> um thomas stripe you donated five dollars to the super chat thank you so much mm -hmm. what's a good asian superhero to adapt to film good question and i will answer the previous one after that <laughs> <laughs> i want to see duplicate in the invincible movie that's what i want to see yeah <laughs> i just been thinking about invincible because ryan otley this fucking guy <laughs> he disagrees with you hector <laughs> He says, hell no. He's like, hell I no. want to see Sunfire from the X-Men. Get <laughs> out of here. Always Amadeus Cho. Yeah. I mean, yeah. but we're not going to get any Hulk replacements anytime soon. So, But uh, I don't Mark know. Mark Ruffalo's not getting any younger. None of them are. Yeah. We're all aging. We're I all think, getting older. I think it's very possible that, that we could see a new Hulk show up. Yeah. Uh, I hope it's She-Hulk. I mean, that would be cool, too. That would, would be the one. Yeah. Totally awesome Hulk. Oh, I love yeah. Amadeus Cho, but yeah. like... 
get, I, God, man, now I want Guillermo come, to come and do a Hulk movie yep. that has Mark Ruffalo that's got the introduction of Jennifer Walters, mm-hmm. his cousin She-Hulk, She-Hulk. Mm-hmm. Amadeus Chose in it. He's mm-hmm. working for S.H.I.E.L.D., so he's the, the indestructible family. Hulk. Yeah, you know, Ross turns into Red Hulk yeah. at the end of it. Oh, just the whole oh, universe, shit. dude. God damn. God damn. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, another question from the Fourth Edge. Thank you so much, dollar ninety nine through the super chat. Brad Bird, Fantastic Four, yay or nay? Two on the nose. I'm gonna say nay. Yeah. He's, he's gonna be burnt out. He did Incredibles and he just he's finishing Incredibles too. Yeah, he's not gonna go do live action Incredibles. Yeah, no. He's, yeah. yeah. As much nose. as as much as I would love it, I yeah, I don't think that's gonna. I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah. Obi yeah, Sanders really. asks dating question for Augustine. Should I make my girlfriend read comics? Listen, LOL. don't make your girlfriend no. do anything. That's your first mistake. Yeah, that's your first mistake. Obi. Mm-mm. Uh, what I say? So what I do when I want my girlfriend to, uh, she's not the nerdiest person. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So whenever the 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 only Shout reason I, Cynthia, if she's still watching, the only reason I got her to watch Avatar, Korra, yeah, the Legend of Korra from front to back is I just had it on the background. Yeah, and I was watching it, I was enjoying it, and I was kind of like laughing a little bit louder at some parts just so she yeah. would kind of like pay attention <laughs> what are you watching I'd be like oh this is funny and then next thing you know she's done with all three seasons oh yeah. four seasons three yeah. seasons four anyways yeah so she watched it all three it was kind of the so. same thing with star wars i had she seen star wars before we watched no, it she had she had not seen star wars yeah. and hanging out with you guys she was like okay cool i'll give it a shot yeah we and did journey to the force awakens and yeah. we watched all of the star wars movies and it was great because it was cool mm-hmm. to see somebody who had never seen them before yeah, come exactly. in mm-hmm. and see what their perspective was right. of the prequels, of the original right. trilogy, and how mm-hmm. the story sort of like wraps itself up and all that stuff. It was great. It's great. I love I love being ex- uh, being able to experience things with people who've never experienced exactly. it before. It's yeah. really cool. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, don't make anybody do anything because yeah. then she's going to hate it. Exactly. Yeah. Um, you got to pick was, your battles too. Like, yeah. I, like I just read the first Annihilation book. Yeah. We haven't gone and seen the movie yet, but after I read the book a few months ago, I was like, Abby, I think you're really going to like this mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. you're into science. You read about science stuff. Mm-hmm. This book is very well written. It's got really interesting characters. They're all women mm-hmm. as a bonus. And I'm like, I want to pick your brain. About, I want to talk to you yeah. about this. Now I saved it because I also want her to basically read every single comic book I'm reading. I want her to watch <laughs> every cartoon I watch, but I know I'm like, this is, if I pitch this, it's not going to fly but i'm yeah. like i kind of saved it to her like this one i've been the one. please read this uh-huh, one so then uh-huh. she read it liked it she's she's read two and then she's finishing up three well, there you go we're gonna go see that's the movie. how you but do you it got, you got to cool. sort of pick your battles to kind of yeah. know like mm, and not everything's gonna stick but what's the one and, like, and it goes with anybody like yeah. we can't have Ad- we can't just throw all these comic books like marvel yeah. comics at adam and be like read this right now but have you read marvel star wars comics I've read some of them. I but should not be all letting you borrow because I'm also kind of going through and collecting them mm-hmm. myself, and I should just be getting you like a paperback. Boom, boom, boom. You know. That's the thing with I'll me bring, is like for me the single. Yeah. I I'm not the biggest fan of reading single issues. Either, I like yeah. to just read the entire trade at yeah. once. Yeah. So I can me just too. have the whole story. Yeah. That's the way I am too. Yeah. Yeah. Dope. Uh, yeah, there was a beer question I saw in there. That we yeah, didn't there answer. was a beer Ooh. question here. Let me go back. Let me go back. I love my beer questions, y'all. I went out last rancher once again. Thank you for the five dollars even this time. Thank you very much. I love it. What is your favorite beer? Mine is a lager or malt interesting i have a lot i have a lot of beers that i like uh went out last night to fat dog over in uh, north hollywood really good place mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Fat, um, dog. Yeah, fat dog really, really, the swedish meatballs are delicious what the fuck just happened <laughs> <laughs> um, I, yeah, yeah. I have a, I I love Sculpin. I love Lagunitas. Um, man, I love a good Pilsner. I like. Yeah. I'm not into Bud Light. I'm not into Budweiser. I'm not into any any of those nasty ass watery beers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I, but I I do actually really like Coors. Um, That's the an, banquet beer. Banquet beer. Uh, <laughs> a, a, a nice Coors. You're say it like that. Oh no, not beer. not Coors. Corona. Corona. Oh, I do, okay. I do oh, like okay. a nice Corona. Like That's because we don't. You don't have friends. We have family. <laughs> when, we, when we barbecue and stuff, I love having oh, yeah. you know yeah, Corona definitely. with a nice lime. Um, no, no Coors either. That shit is Hector, garbage. Do you have a favorite beer? I it's feel probably, like you just kind of drink whatever's I'll drink around. Whatever, but it's probably Newcastle. I really Ooh, like Newcastle's. Okay. They're, yeah, they're smooth. Yeah. They're easy to drink. I had an yeah. old Rasputin last night. It's delicious. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. I, Newcastle. Interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cynthia asked a good question, too. But you didn't pay for it. What? Just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't, pay, uh, for you didn't pay for this one. You don't get to ask uh, a question, okay? <laughs> uh, right now, I'm really into any beer that's like a, a, a brown sort of ale, nutty brown, chocolatey kind of. I love the Mother Earth. Was it Mother Earth or something Earth? Peanut butter stout, really good stuff, and anything that's just like brown mm-hmm. and nutty. Belching beaver peanut butter stout is so fucking good. Yeah, I love Ooh, all that kind of stuff. I think I had one of those. Mm-hmm. That's um, some good shit at the uh, at the bar near my place because they have like a peanut butter and jelly 
like cooked burger that they have. And mm-hmm. a peanut butter stout? Yeah. Oh, What are you snap. doing after this, Hector? <laughs> oh, snap. You want to go so make later? love to a burger? <laughs> we might go, uh, we, for real, so Abby and I might go see Annihilation later. You want to oh, come? Nice. Uh, Maybe have that burger? Yeah, possibly. I'll All right, know. I'll hit you up. Yeah. Right, cool. Yo, Tanmoy cool. Bunia, thank you so much. A uh, thousand, I believe it's Is rupees. It rupees. Rupees again. More rupees. Cool. Uh, like hey, bucks. big fan from the superhero news area. Thank er- you. Era, full scoop on Marvel Marathon before Infinity War. We haven't started it yet. <laughs> to be very, very honest, we haven't done anything it's with it yet. Probably not gonna happen. For real talk. Uh, it's and probably not gonna happen. What sucks but is that we're all super busy, so yeah. we're probably not gonna be able to. Not not only that, because it's seventeen movies, yeah. it really requires like a three day commitment, and or or a movie a week, but starting in January, which yes. a lot of people have been yeah. doing. And yeah. there's so many like Road to Infinity War right, like podcasts right. and different things, and they're great. But exactly. Yeah, 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 uh, definitely. I, I I think we're gonna try to do something. I yeah. don't know what it's gonna be. If it, I don't, I honestly don't think it's gonna be a watch along because we've already watched these movies previously. Mm-hmm. They're out there. Be, yeah. Just because we're not on the channel, those those reviews and those watch alongs are still out there. Um, would will we do something we have to talk about and figure it out exactly what that would be um i would like to but it's 17 movies it's, it's a, a lot of it's it's, it's big. a commitment it's, it's, and a, a, half. it's a huge commitment and honestly i want to do it yeah. but given our experience in the past it's so tough to get through this it's kind of exhausting thing. if yeah. we were to do it it couldn't be us doing it for the entire duration of it because yeah. it, that's just crazy that's just too much it's, it's super much. exhausting i mean i know yeah. when we did it last time you know, you were doing, you were kind of in the forefront of it a lot. And I know by like, by the second day, the end of the second day, you were like, I need to be in the back. I'm tired. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's, 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 it's just exhausting. a lot of work. It's really a lot of work to try to yeah. organize everything. It's just the way we did it before that model doesn't work. It was fun, but mm-hmm. we need to figure something else out. For yeah. This. When it's, when it's like four or five movies or like a season of TV, that's not 23 episodes. Yeah. It's a lot more possible. Yeah. Like stranger things was yeah, great. That was great. That yeah. was great. It's eight episodes. You're done in eight hours. It's like a one day of work. Yeah. Um, but when it's a full 30 something hour commitment, yeah, it's tough. We got to so, move on to the next one. Yep. Dimension Zone, uh, Super Chat to five bucks. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Ever since 2015, with your Avengers Age of Ultron reaction, I've been a fan of you guys. Thanks. Hope to meet you one day, to meet you three in person one day and discuss comics and stuff. That's great, awesome. Man. We love meeting people. It's yeah. great to to stop and I, I actually was walking my dog the other day uh-huh. near UCLA. Somebody at the bus stop, he's like, hey, I know you. Shook my hand. Like, oh, no way. Really cool That's dude. awesome. Yeah. And I was like, oh, hey, cool. Yeah, it was, it was cool. It was yeah. cool to see people because cool. I'm just a normal dude. Like, Yeah. No, know, it's, it's great. Cool it's great. And, you know, we're going to go to Comic-Con this year. I think we're – I'm 90% sure that we're going to we're going to WonderCon. Yeah. Um. So we'll be around. We, yeah, we well, want to do more conventions. But the problem is that all that stuff costs so much money. Yeah. And without somebody actually sponsoring us to go to a convention, yeah, it's we hard. can't really go outside of Southern California. And outside of our day jobs to – like. Yeah, exactly. We don't make money off this. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, this has been a hobby for us <laughs> yeah. for, for a couple of years now. Yeah. And like, you know, with Adam tickets and potentially more sponsors, like we're working on, we're working on it. And we hope in yeah. the future that it becomes something that we can take time off from a day job or from whatever yeah. to go to New York Comic Con. Yeah, to go hang out to, with you guys, meet you guys, because you guys are great. Like yeah. the only reason we're here is because of you guys. So thank you. I mean, I know one of our one of our goals in the future, we would love to be able to do this live in select cities. Like that'd yeah. be really yeah, cool to do really Hyper cool. Heroes live. Yeah. So We'll see. Uh, we also have to give a shout out to Mimer Chef, uh, 500 SEK. Uh, Swedish crowns. About, ooh, Swedish crowns. Uber yeah. said that was about Sick. 60 bucks. Oh, so, wow. Uh, nice. That's huge. Hey, thank no. you so uh, much. Thank you so much. That's Tuck huge. Samike. That's huge. Mm. Uh, hold on. I learned a little Swedish when I was in Sweden. Before we get to Dollified's $10, yeah. thank you so much, Dollified. Corey Kramer. Old hey, school homie Corey what's Kramer. What's up? How you doing? Thank you for the four ninety nine. Uh, everybody in the MCU gets a new suit per movie. What suits do you think Spidey and Black Panther will get for Avengers four and and their standalone sequels? Interesting. So we're talking like so we know he gets irons a version of mm-hmm. Iron Spider. Spider yeah. Do you do you guys think that the Iron Spider is going to continue as a, a trend, or do you think he'll go back to like cloth wearing? I I think that the Iron Spider suit, if it doesn't get destroyed by I the end it'll of get destroyed. yeah, I think yeah. if it doesn't get destroyed in the uh, at, by the end of the movie. I have a feeling they want it. They'll probably end up keeping Spider Man mostly traditional. I think he'll I think always so. get upgrades. Yeah, mm-hmm. he'll always have little upgrades here and there. But I think I think mostly the costume, yeah. in its sort of general sense, will look the same. I don't think it's gonna be as different as like first Avenger Captain America to Avengers right. to uh, Winter Soldier to yeah. Civil until, War until he gets. And I hope this happens too. But I don't know now with the Venom movie, but like yeah. the black suit, the, the alien yes. symbiote. Mm-hmm. Costume. Yeah, that would be it's great. Spider Man's yeah. most Fantastic. significant costume change story wise, yeah. and it's it's really huge. I'd like to see them try Black Panther with a cape. 
That's Ooh, another, yeah, that's I another, want to see the sleek black. Yeah, black that's another Panther, comic book. Like thing all is, that stuff is, is with the cape yeah, that he has, yeah, and it's the, like with the small I prefer little Black collar. Panther without a cape, but yeah. it's like I want to see them do it. You know? That's like, classic. What's that's it classic Black like? Panther. Yeah, yeah. If, he, if he has to go to like Adam some kind of an event. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. No, I want. I want that. There are also some. Uh, I want to see the Brian Stelfreeze uh, Black Panther as well with the shorter ears that come down mm -hmm. when he's pissed off. Mm -hmm. Like that kind of Black Panther because yeah. he designed a really, really cool Black Be Panther. Cool. Yeah. Shout um, out to uh, somebody hit me up on Twitter. Uh, Mahamood Osman is probably watching right now. So let's all say hello. 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 Thank you so hello. much for watching. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, sent a really, really nice comment. And uh, yeah, just like, man, we're getting yeah. a lot of love right now. It's I know. Awesome. It's great. It's good. Really uh, appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Another Mahamood. $10. Dollify. Thank you so much. Uh, We're gonna be eating good burritos tonight. <laughs> Kim Zach, half a burrito with this amount. Can I meet you Fine. guys? Fine. Can I meet you guys at WonderCon? Well, I guess I yeah, maybe. Should, we're going to go to WonderCon. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll tweet out information about where we are at right. WonderCon Langley's once we're there. Ceremonial. I want to see them try to, for some sort of ceremonial Black Panther. So yeah, yeah. More, a more yeah. like kingly rather yeah, yeah, yeah. than techie. He has to go and like Black make a Panther. speech somewhere. Yeah. He's like, you know, but I still have the But suit. I'm still wearing yeah. Black yeah. Like, I, I go out as I, Black Panther now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but to answer your question, Dollified, we will tweet out information on where we are at mm. WonderCon. So, <laughs> and if you just happen to see us there, just... Come yeah, because the cool thing is hi. WonderCon is in Anaheim, so it's nice. We can just go down for the day. I, I know mm -hmm. we, we, we're talking about potentially um, staying there for the night on Saturday mm -hmm. and just hanging out. But even for the day, it's so close and yeah. it's really, really convenient. Yeah. Um, so I think we're, we're going to go down for a day. And the nice thing about WonderCon, because it's sort of the precursor to Comic-Con, yeah. nobody there really isn't anything ginormous that gets broken. Like There's no big right, Marvel right, or right. DC stuff. I know Walking mm -hmm. Dead will be doing stuff there. Mm -hmm. um, and who knows? As we get closer, maybe some stuff will be announced. But um, it's kind of just like a fun, chill hangout for us. So yeah, I mean, we'll yeah, be there and we'll definitely, yeah, we'll tweet stuff out. Definitely. Uh, Claire is right, actually, Hector. Capes are bad. You don't listen to Edna Mode? Edna oh, right. Mode. <laughs> I mean, he's All not, right. not going to be fighting in that suit, though. No case. Like, yeah, it's all I'm sure he'll have like a, and then it, like, a mode. It retracts or it goes yeah, away. Yeah, it'll have a mode though. in which like it retracts into the suit. It turns into like a that. fucking yeah. jet. And yeah, <laughs> <a> <laughs> spaceship Bugatti. <laughs> exactly. And flies it away. <laughs> Say amazing. what's up to Anna Berg, old school hey, Anna. viewer. How you doing? Anna Berg, Hi. watching in the chat. Thank you so much. Um, that nerd says, I'll sponsor you guys to New York Comic Con. Hey, hit us up, man. That'd be crazy. Hit us up. I'm down. Um, do we have any more topics? We've been There's going couple, for almost yeah. like an hour and a half. Uh, Movie point. Seven Night says, "Hey, Hector, Adam, and Augustine. In the near future, I plan on making my own comic books, graphic novels. Ooh, you guys got any advice for me? Practice ooh, drawing um, boring stuff. Don't. Yeah. I feel like you probably already good at drawing characters. Practice drawing backgrounds, a living room, a living room, like a, a fire a interior hydrant. of a car. Yeah. Whatever the whatever, like just like backgrounds, backgrounds, backgrounds. Focus yeah. on that and yeah. try to do some research. Um, looking at like." background uh artists yeah. on cartoon shows yeah. and disney movies and yeah. like see like the techniques that are used and like get inspired by that and get into that i would so. also uh just listen to tana hisi coates talk about what he it took for him to write a comic book because mm -hmm. he's a well-known writer mm -hmm. uh but he'd never written a comic book before and he said he had to break all his his norms norms of writing traditionally yeah. Yeah. to write a comic book so it, it takes a lot of of different ways of writing in order to write a comic book mm -hmm. so look at people who don't traditionally write comics and figure out how they did it yeah so good advice yeah yeah cool cool, cool. Uh, and drawing of course drawing uh, kristen wick potentially playing cheetah in the wonder woman soviet sequel what Yep. Is this for real? This is for real. No this way. Is a, gonna, gonna this is not confirmed. In the 80s. Yeah, this is not confirmed, but mm -hmm. apparently there are discussions happening about that, and some people have been bringing up quite I a bit. I would be fine with it because Kristen Wiig is very sympathetic with yeah. characters that she plays. Yeah. And um, uh, Minerva, Barbara Ann Minerva, is supposed to be a sympathetic character who then like succumbs to the yeah. cheetah. Yeah, and Wonder Woman lose Diana loses a friend. Yeah. So like, yeah, make her a super likable, almost like mm -hmm. her character in Ghostbusters. Like, boom, oh, I'm just a klutz. Yeah. And, and then she like turns into the fucking cheetah, and yeah. Gal Gadot's like, no, you were my best friend. It's the '80s. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite villain that uh, she ever played was in Portlandia, where she played Gathy. <laughs> <laughs> she played a that. character named Gathy, and she kidnapped Gathy with a G. So great. And oh he God. kidnapped Fred Armisen, and what's her name? Uh, Carrie Brownstein. Carrie Brownstein, and they were in a band called Cat Scratch, and she mm. was she was a huge fan of Cat oh, Scratch, oh. and so she kidnapped them so they could play in her living room. Yeah, and nice. so she That's she funny. was a villain. She came also, up behind she, stage with. She the was really great in uh, Flight of the Concords, where she played Barbara. Barbara, like, yeah, B R A. Barbara, B R A. Barbara. Yeah, because she, it's like. 
Barbara? Somebody, is, I forget who it was. It was either Jermaine or Clement called her Barbara. And yeah. the other one was like, Barbara, Barbara like with an extra yeah. R. Yeah. And, it, and she's like, my name is Barbara. Barbara. Bar- Barbara. Like B-R-A. B-R-A. <laughs> Barbara. Yeah. Barbara. <laughs> oh, so my funny. God. Yeah. Uh, we had another uh, 50. What's we just crown? Swedish crown donation. Dang. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, Mimi dash PW. Have, has any of you seen the recent season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? If Not so, what yet. do you think of it? I uh, thought season four was quite interesting. I'm about like, to, for real, for real, like start it over from the beginning. Really? I let, I'm uh, kind of considering of, it too. That's I a let, lot of, not just the show, all of it. I let uh, uh, a buddy of mine, Johnny Sfarsbean, borrow my Marvel Cinematic mm-hmm. Universe movies. That's All of them on Blu-ray. Huge. He just got them back to me like a week ago. Uh-huh. So I'm sitting there with Iron Man on Blu-ray and I'm like, uh-huh. I'm about to start this over. <laughs> And do all right. Looks like we're doing a marathon, y'all. Like to watch them all eventually, Uh but then what I want to do now is after I watch like Iron Man three, I'm gonna pop in Agents of Shield, which I do have the first season on Blu-ray. Yeah, Yeah. they only put out the first two seasons on Blu-ray, and the second season was all was only an Amazon exclusive anyway. They don't have seasons three and four on Blu-ray, and now they're on season five. I think they just stopped. So like I'll watch them on Netflix. I'll find them, but and also have whatever Netflix shows they put out on Blu-ray. Yeah, Uh, Luke Cage, Daredevil, Jessica Jones. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go and start over from the beginning and like. Do the, because Agents of Shield is the one show that's not that doesn't take place in between. It's like throughout. Yeah. You know, a season starts mm-hmm, in the fall mm-hmm. and then it goes to what's up, Cam? What and up, then Cam? like they'll say like watch the first six episodes and then Thor: The Dark World happens. Yeah. And then watch episodes seven through fifteen and then Captain America: Winter Soldier happens and then the fallout of that is yeah. the rest of the season. Yeah. Right. And each season's kind of broken up like that with yeah. some movies. So. I'm yeah. gonna. I want to start over and do and and basically give the show another shot. That's a good. I idea. like parts of it, but I want to get to Ghost Rider. <laughs> yeah, yep. to the Robbie Reyes son. Yeah, man. Uh, Anna Berg says it's dope. Cool. Uh, yeah. Nice. So I, I I've heard nothing but good things about these newest seasons. I have no reason to not go back and watch them except for time. Mm-hmm. But it's just it's it's tough. It's just tough fitting all this stuff in to, mm-hmm. to rewatch all this stuff. Yeah. Uh, I have to go pretty soon, you guys. Cool. But, um, We're going to wrap out. Yeah, should we wrap it Is up? There, there's, uh, no more, more? there's no more uh, questions cool. we have to answer. Perfect. Uh, yeah. But this was a lot of fun. This was a lot of fun. I'm, yeah. I'm super glad we got to do this. Guys, if you enjoyed this, make sure you obviously do all the usual stuff. Leave a mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm. Leave Smash a comment. Smash that like button. Smash that like button Smash if that's it. what you're into. Uh, definitely let us know because if this becomes a cool thing, um, this is something that I am implementing into the Patreon in, in different ways. It's not going to be just this, but there's a lot of opportunities for us to do this a lot more. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would love to because I think it's really fun. And we don't, we just don't, we don't get to do live interactions as much as we uh, would like to. And um, yeah, yeah, you know. Oh, Google, we Google. have one more question. Sure. One more really, really. This is the quick last question. question. We're this is the take. last question we're going to take. Uh, from Juan Veralde, uh, 49. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. We'll go to Jack in the Box after this. <laughs> um, how come you guys didn't start your own channel with superhero news? Saludos from Memphis, Tennessee. Good question. Uh, very good question. Uh, good question. Before when we were doing stuff, it was something that we were doing out of a bedroom. And it was really just us running mm-hmm. the whole thing. Mm-hmm. And Zach approached us and he asked us, hey, would you be interested in coming over to our channel to do mm-hmm. stuff? Um, and it just seemed like a really good fit because we had full support coming here. Yeah. You know, we didn't have to worry about setting up all the gear. Yeah. Even, even for all the gear. Yeah. And even for this thing, like Lucas was here till 10 o'clock last night, setting everything up. All I had to do was come in, turn on the computer and just hit stream. Right. So being able to have that support and and having other people who can help us creatively and technically is super, super helpful. Mm -hmm. And I think if we were just to start from the bottom all over again, it would be on us to do a lot of it. Right, and because right. we have such crazy schedules and everybody's yeah. working, we have so superstar jobs Hector stuff. over here who's always busy now. And I'm a superstar. He's what on billboards say? now I'm and like, doing billboards. all kinds of cool billboards. shit. Billboards. And so, Hang like, hello? you know. Hang on. Hey, hey, hello, hey, Hollywood. Hey, Hollywood. Hollywood. Hi. Hi, Hollywood. You want me to star in Jurassic Park 6? Yeah. Tight. Hey, Hollywood. Maybe. Oh! Maybe. Bye. I, got hey, other I hope Ready Player One's yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Steven. Hey, bring back Animaniacs. Bye. But you should... Uh, they are bringing you know. back Animaniacs. Okay, but do like a live action animated hybrid movie. <laughs> oh, okay, okay yeah, bye. Yeah, yeah. Bye. <laughs> that was a real phone call from Real phone Steven's call. Plus, plus the thing cool that was cool, too, was like Zach brought us over to Geek and Sundry where we started doing live stuff, too. Yeah, and yeah. he's just... He really believes in, believes in us and he likes what we're doing. And we thought it's a perfect pairing because... We really believe and love what Zach is doing with Hyper. Yeah. Yep. So it just seemed like a really good fit and yeah. allows us to work and collaborate with our friends. Cameron yeah. just walked in. He's going to yeah. do a photo shoot. Yeah. Tomorrow we're going to host an Oscar viewing party yeah. here and it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, so. it's cool. The infrastructure was here plus also the community yeah. that yeah. comes awesome. along with Hyper RPG and everybody who like... 
a lot of you guys don't know Claire. Claire is amazing. She's been an amazing part of the community. Mm -hmm. Angel Mitsu, Uber Baldi, uh, yeah. a Megalo Blazemon. Like, there's just so, so many, many people. people yeah. And if who we want part if, of this community, if we were going to bring any new fans, that, like, I love watching superhero stuff on YouTube. If we wanted to bring them into any community, it right. would be one that we felt was already good, as opposed to like, well, right, here's a regular exactly. group of YouTube commenters that are shitty. Yeah, exactly. come and come and do this thing. Come and hang out with these people mm -hmm. because they're all cool and we like them. And so, right, yeah. exactly. There's just the infrastructure was here. I love working here. I feel like I, I I feel very happy coming in when when everybody that is here I like to work with. So yeah. it's 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 just a good feeling. And I honestly, went right to Claire's I head. She's like, go on. Claire, God <laughs> damn it, Claire. Claire get out of here, Claire. Uh, Anyways, I, and I mean, you know. It, you know it's a good vibe. Like, I, okay, I moved into this house. This yeah. is an operating. So yeah. I moved in here because I was like, this is a cool community of people, and I want to hang out with them, and I want to spend time with them. I get to see Matt and Lucas every day. Yeah, Matt mm -hmm. drives me crazy sometimes. I still love him though. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it Remember just felt like really really good. He turned to you thing. and he was like, "Oh, don't you think that it looks like this character?" And, and we were like, "Matt, what are you talking about?" And he's like, "Oh, you know, that's a bad guy from Spy Kids." We were like, <laughs> "Matt, you can't assume that Adam knows the name of the bad guy from Spy Kids." And he goes, "Yeah, yeah, tight, 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 tight." Yeah, sorry, man. Sorry, go, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Matt, Matt, God damn it, Matt. You're the bad um, guy, man. But yeah, please let us know in the comments below if you if you enjoy this. Let us know because we definitely like to do this more often. Yeah, Make sure yeah, to hit yeah. the like button. Also, go into the description and check out our affiliate link for Adam tickets if you want to get some tickets Atom for tickets. some movies. Atom tickets <laughs> down in the description. Or if you're a first-time user, get $5 off by using the code SQUAD. Uh, in the meantime, Hector, where can everybody find you? you? Find me on the internet at Hector is funny. Check out the 500 Greatest Films podcast. we got a new episode coming out Monday where Keller and I watch the movie Ben-Hur with Amy Vorpal. That's a three-and-a-half-hour movie. Never seen it. Is Charles it podcast, Heston. Three, podcast three and a half hours? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it at like a tight 40. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, want to... Yeah. Don't want to go Gotta too keep long. It tight, but tight forty. <laughs> watch the, uh, listen to the uh, Amoris Perros episode with yeah. Augustine. Has that, that one been great. getting good traction? Yeah, dude, people yeah. dug it. But there was a bunch of feedback of like, I've never seen this movie. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah. Like uh -huh. your guys' uh -huh. discussion was cool. Yeah. Um, and then Adam, you'll be on it in October yes. around then, maybe mm -hmm. September for Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. The original. I'm very Cameron excited. picked a movie. Cameron Ooh. is gonna be talking about. Um, uh, fuck, what movie is he gonna be talking about? <laughs> Cameron. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What movie are you? I'm doing not gonna right expect there? him to remember. Deer Hunter. He's oh, Deer yeah. Oh, but that's like later yeah. this year. Yeah. That's right. Oh, they're going to say it's like in two. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's like, it's it'll be like in August or something. What's okay. The Deer doing? Hunter. I don't, know what, he's I don't know what he's breaking doing. Stuff. <laughs> All right. Anyways, okay. you can find me at L underscore Santo Taco. I saw a lot of beer suggestions for stuff that I should drink. Mm. So hit me up. I want to drink all of them all at once. Yes. Make sure you guys hit us up on the tweets. Uh, you can just find me at Adam Havik on all socials. And uh, hey, hit me up for Comic Rex. Yes. If you need us too. <laughs> for sure. Definitely yeah. hit up. Hector's definitely hit up Hector that. for comics. Yeah. Hit me up for beer because that's my life. Yeah. Uh, we'll and, make uh, a beer list, Adam. Yeah. Well, yeah. we should. We yeah. should. It'd be great. Uh, thank you guys so much. We'll see you next week. Bye. And hopefully this works. Does, does this control here? If not, I'll control it over there.